All righty, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for swinging on in here. Um, going live. So this is a I will. I got all day to order that. I got all day to order that. So anyway, um, this is a, a live recap of, of everything that I bought today. I went to the free market. I took um, my budget was um, one hundred dollars. Hey, Central Valley uh, Sports Cards, how's it going? Central Valley Cards CVC, how's it going? Um, let me bring up the chat on my phone real quick. That way. So, la, 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 la. here we go. Where is it at? There it is. And so, yes, here I am. Go turn the volume down. Yes, here I am. There we go. Volume is down. I can see the chat, but I still need my glasses. So that was one of my uh, mistakes today. I didn't take my reading glasses with me. So I couldn't, when I could see the chat, when it wasn't so reflective off my phone screen i basically couldn't uh couldn't see it the print was just too small a lot of a lot of um reflective stuff gonna see what's in the usfl set okay so i think this is the second year usfl not the first year but we'll get to that um just a real quick if you guys weren't there for the the live atex um if you guys weren't there for the live video, the live today, um, here's what I picked up so far. So you get a quick look. See, there's a box of stuff here and a little box there. And this whole bin here full of different cards. And then there's another box of cards here. That's got all kinds of football, hockey, some baseball. Whatever. So now let's go back to the beginning. So everything you see on the screen here, I think, I'm not sure if one of these or both of these. I know two of these were in one. I don't know if this big white box was in it. I think the white box, I think I have everything set up to where I bought it. So everything you see right here, right here, all of this, all of this stuff, 50 bucks. And all this stuff, not counting this, was like, um, 46 bucks, I think the guy said. Um, because he didn't have enough change to break, you know, a 60 down to 45, whatever. And then I bought this off of another seller, this Manny, um, Manny Ramirez card for four bucks. The guy wanted seven bucks for it. I got him, got him down to four. Some of the guys, the prices were, were, were crazy prices, like, you know, crazy, crazy overpriced stuff. And I, I wasn't going to pay that. Some guy, one of the first guy I talked to, and it was, it was, it's on the live video, also with the very hostile vendor in it. Um, it was like he wanted 350 bucks for a box of cards and, uh, you know, like an 800 count box that had like 600 cards in it that he wanted 350 bucks for it. And so I could tell those guys were eBay sellers. They were breakers, whatever. All their stuff, their blaster boxes, their hanger boxes, whatever they have, were already ripped open. All the good stuff was yanked out of them. And then he's like, oh, they don't belong out there. I, I haven't. You know, the, the, they were like customers' things that were thrown out there. They were selling guys who bought into the breaks their boxes. I don't know. So I, I just kind of walked away after I heard the $350 on the one box. I'm like, yeah, okay, forget it. I'm not going to waste any more of my time because I was sitting around for a while there. But let's get into this. So here's a uh, uh, looks like possibly the complete set of this um, post serial cards. Nothing great, nothing fancy, but I bundled it. I kind of just bundled. I bought everything that this guy had almost. 
there was still some other stuff, but so here's a Nolan Ryan career Coca-Cola career series. I thought it was going to be something different. Um, I didn't, a lot of the stuff I didn't open up. I just was going to bundle and go for it. Take my chances when I get home, but it's this Coca-Cola set, but it's, you know, it's in the original box and you know, it's mint It's still in the original wrapper. So I have other cards that are not in the wrappers, not in the box, just uh, single cards of the same set. So, so that's two things down. We'll just kind of pop them over there. This is uh, some kind of set of, I don't know, their stickers or whatnot. It's not even a complete set. It's just a bunch of them thrown in here, apparently. Um, and there's some kind of stickers. I think they're like Panini stickers. So, I just took a chance on them. I don't know what's in here yet. I'll go through them later and see what I got or what I didn't get. Um, this is a, a um, still sealed Pittsburgh Pirates thing. It had Barry Bonds on it. It was sealed. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, how, how can you go wrong? I guess it's still sealed in the original packaging, but the, the hanger thing is broken off. But it's starting to deteriorate. It's starting to discolor and stuff like that. So that's that. Um and I haven't owned up any of this. This is supposed to be a 50 set card. It says Top Stadium Club members only. And 50 cards. Here's the checklist on the back. 1995. So I don't know. Um, you have to be a members only, I guess, to get this. Join that Top Stadium Club. I got Manny Ramirez right on the back. Very nice, shiny um, foil cards. Mondesi, Bobby Hamlin, and Ryan Klesko. So basically all losers, you know. I mean, Manny, technically, if you want to look at him, he cheated. So kind of he's kind of a loser. Still a fan favorite, but Lou Bagwell. So there's some good cards in here. Boggs, Barry Bonds. So I'm going to say because the box is pretty full that the, the complete set is there. I'll go through them later to verify. Oh, who's in the back here? Someone was left behind. There you go. Big hurt. Frank Thomas. So, put these back in the, the box. Will they be kind of safe? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I would paid you for the George Brett auto pick. Um, yeah, I, you know. So and so that's why I want to maybe start doing more live and be able to take my time. And if someone was interested in something like that, the only problem with the, the autograph and stuff like that is, you know, the guy said, "Oh, I bought it from you know, I bought it, bought out a guy who was selling his shop, or whatever." So you don't know what certificates come with that, if any. You know what I'm saying? Um. Don't open the USFL if it's unopened. No, it's already been opened up. The guy told me it's been it's been picked, and it says no no young right there, no young card in here. So it's the, the he he even popped it like this and said, "Listen, I know the young has been taken out. Um, I have this is like the second year USFL, I think. Um, I think the first one was in '84. I have I bought that one, and even I broke it up because I needed the money to sell." So, Doug Williams, you know, I think this is the second year of USFL. This first year had Reggie White and um, Herschel Walker and you know, I'm trying to pick up a name, Roger Ruzek, Dave Browning, Stan Talley, Reggie Collier, you know, finding other than Doug Williams, who are actually Brian Sipe. Um, Zendaya, Haas. 
Yeah, probably all the big names are out of here. I mean, there's still a lot of cards, but... Marvin and Harvey, never heard of him. So, Bruce Laird. Chuck Fusina. Joe Cribbs. Was he on his way out of the NFL or coming in? You know, 84 says he won him the USFL's rushing title. So I think he ended up going to the Bills. But not one really big name yet. So they were, you know, and maybe the big name was only young at this point in the league without looking on the back and putting them in numerical order or checking the checklist. Here we go. So we can just go straight to the checklist. They're probably not in order. We'll see who was the big names on this year. But, you know, Marcus Dupree was kind of an okay running back in the NFL. Mike Meyer, you know, Nick Mike Meyer. Rick Neuheisel was probably okay in college, but not pro. Gary Anderson, so that was, that's a, well, I guess that's a big name. Gary Anderson would only be a decent running back. So, yeah, Reggie White will be in there, hopefully. Well, let's check the checklist, right? No, 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 no. Even Scott Fitzky, I didn't see his name in there, but whatever. Joe Cribbs was there. Mike Rozier wasn't in there, so he was gone. Jim Kelly was gone. Billy White Shoes Johnson, that's probably his name there, gone, not in there. Steve Young, gone, not in there. Reggie White, gone. So, yeah, this box was picked over. Uh, even the Doug Flutie card was gone. Herschel Walker, gone. At least they left the checklist. Yeah, so the 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 big names were gone already out of this. But um, I only had series one, so our for year one eighty four. So this is eighty five and. Who knows? You, you may be able to pick up the other cards if you were looking to complete the set. Who knows? But yeah, it's um, the guy said this in a complete set is worth like eighteen hundred bucks or something like that. So good luck that. So here's a nineteen ninety tops uh, traded. I'm sure it's it's intact. It feels like it's intact. Um, there's no tape on them. I don't think they were ever taped, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um. This feels like it's been gone through, like some of the big names, 86 Dunross rookies, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's got the Aaron puzzle, so that's that's positive. It's an actual um, puzzle with pieces, so that's cool. I think I have a Clemente one somewhere, too. So there's supposedly 56 cards in this set. I heard plunks in there. They didn't take out the plunk. It's definitely not 56 cards here, though. So this one's been um, raped as well. Yep. No 
big names whatsoever. Andres Galarraga is going to be the big name left behind. Yep, so um, Eric Plunk and Andres Galarraga. Again, I bought this, you know, without looking. I just was like, you know what, let me just bundle it all up. Oh, there's a little note in here. Let's see what the note says. Incomplete. No major stars. Thank you. I know that now. I knew it when I picked it up. I could feel there was a big air pocket in this box. And I'm like, okay. Air pocket, but maybe I can piece together a set someday. Someone may have a single sitting around in a dollar bin or something like that that you can throw in there. So now we got this one feels complete. 88 Dunross. Marshall Walker is there. Yeah, he's not there. And it's still sealed. So that's the complete set with the puzzle card, who is Dan Musual. Nice. Love those little puzzles. So that's a complete set. You know, this one feels complete. And this is Top Stadium Club uh, members only type 50 card set. It has definitely been opened up. So. You know, the hope that all 50 cards are here. Might be a little pocket in there. So some of the 50 stars may be gone. It is nice and shiny, though. I'll give them that. Um, is that Conine? I guess. Yeah, Conine. Lansing. There's Tim Salmon. I think the problem with the, all these, um, like, look how Salmon's all faded in his face. He looks really pale, white. You can see the... The white outlines on his arm. You know what I mean? Like there's no longer flesh tone on these cards. They all, anything like white just really got really white. Um, Cordero's face, he's got one little pink blush like spot on his cheeks. But if you're a, a person of um, color, let's say, they didn't, uh, they didn't fade. And um, let's see. So who's this? JT Snow, he's got around the, the, the perimeter of his face is all faded again. and But the, the um, again, so the cardboard cards seem to be okay. And with Tony Gwynn in here and these guys, it's probably not been so, uh, searched. Ricky Henderson's here. So just judging by the, the stars that are still here that this has not been searched. Frank Thomas is here. They'd have taken that. The Piazza would have been gone. You know. Bonds definitely would have been gone. You know, all these. They may not have been Hall of Famers at the time, but they were still superstars of their time. So the junior would have definitely been gone. So it's good. At least I got this is appearing to be a complete set. All rude. Williams, Smoltz, Dave Justice, Molitor, even Kruk is in here. So, and Juan Gonzalez. So, definitely seems to be an intact. Hey Jeff, how's it going? I've been looking forward to the recap. Ah, uh, well, I, I spent all hundred dollars today, and then, and then I just. What I didn't, I have a second separate video because my, my battery was going dead. I stopped recording. Good thing I did when I did because I couldn't see how much health battery life I had left. I was down to 26%. So I still had to find um, Ronnie, who is um, uh, the card master 1212, and I uh, had to find him and... You know, see what he had for sale. He had a lot of good stuff. I shot a separate video at his booth with the remaining time I had left on my phone um, and still have some battery left to drive home in case, you know, something and something did go wrong with my Jeep. So, yeah, um, but I made it home. Um, so, again, all this stuff over here was and, and all this stuff up there was all 50 bucks. And then I'll get to the rest here in a minute. So I, I gave away um, a set of this, golf, but there was like one card missing, like that special whatever insert card was missing out of this, right? 
plus one collectible was missing out of the set. So I saw this there, and it was all a bundle for 50 bucks. I made sure I threw this into the bundle. So now I have the complete set to give away to someone, whoever's a golf collector or whatever, have a drawing for. Here's a uh, factory sealed set of 87 Fleer baseball. Um, here's a 91... And it feels, you know, you can tell it's a brick. It's it's complete set. I'm not going to bother even open it. I don't know if I have a 91. Yeah, it looks like I do have a 91 over there. But there's another one. Um, these were just a brick. I grabbed as much stuff I could for 50 bucks. I know they're just junk, but that's a brick. Here's some 89 that scored. Nice little brick of those. Um to open up later or whatever and i didn't again i didn't look into any of this stuff so i just figured i'd just you know bundle it all together see what he's going to charge me for it and then i was able to actually talk him down five bucks or four bucks because he think he sold it to me for 46 bucks but i have no idea what was supposed to be in here i just said all right just add it but, I mean, there's some Hall of Famers in here. None that we haven't already seen. But, you know, you might find that error card in this little thing here, you know. Like the downing without the DH in the corner, which we passed when they had the DH. Or you might just stumble across um, the stolen base leaders, you know. All-time stolen base, Brock and Henderson card uh, with the error. So, you never know. Apparently this is, I don't know, seven, so maybe this is just a high number from 701, and obviously 701 is not there through 800, whatever. And I already got hundreds of these cards, so thousands of them. But if I'm going to be charged a fee, I'm going to get as much as I can out of the guy. You know what I mean? So I just threw that in there, too. And then here's a sealed, factory sealed set of the uh, Ryan. He wanted, was asking three bucks for it. So it was all bundled and what ended up paying for it. And it's 110 full color card collection set. Series number two, Nolan Ryan. Um, here's some pinnacle. Definitely not all here. It says set, but it feels like there's not a set. It looks like there's not a set here. And definitely not a set. Cards are missing out of this for sure. Probably all the stars. I'm going to waste my time looking for it. Like I said, maybe you go to a card show, you'll find one in a dollar bin. You can piece together the set if you want. I may already have enough to put a set together just from my already collection. This was pretty neat. I saw this there and I'm like, I got to have this. Hey, George Bus, how's it going? So this is, as you can read, it's a 1994 All-Star Game Upper Deck 48-card um, set, the Upper Deck Company, Walter Luce Jr., featuring the past and present photography of Walter Luce Jr. Now, they put the small cards in randomly in the packs, but this is like big cards. Five by sevens, maybe, or something like that. They're pretty nice. They got the little stamp on it, just like the regular cards would have had coming into the packs. That's 40, number 46. Uh, here's a Bagwell. Pretty neat. Clark. So I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be the complete set. Bonds. I mean, all the big names are here. All right. So far, we find a junior and uh, like a Frank Thomas. But, I mean, Kirby's here. Robbie's here. Greg's here. Tony's here. So, and there's the moose, Mike Messina. So, I'm going to say, call this a complete set. Clemens is here. Juan Gan, who was a big guy back in the day. Piazza's here. Randy's here. Dave Justice is here. I Rod's here. Even Bobby Bell. Split finger fastball coming at you. Blackjack McDowell. 
And you got lip stash. He doesn't have his mustache, though. He's the non-lip stash. The unlip stash. Andres Galarraga. Grace. J. Bell. And they're all in really good shape. They were kept in this box. I think at the size difference. It's like, I don't know, me standing next to Michael Jordan or someone like that. <laughs> big brother, little brother. And they actually are big brother, little brother. Physically and um, chronologically. But little brother made out. Larry Walker. Andy Vance like. Jose Rio. John Allrood. Come on, we still got to find the junior. Sandberg. Is that Kent? That's Kent. Brian McRae. There's Tim Salmon. With his dre dreamy eyes and big bushy eyebrows, though. He should have trimmed them. He should have the unibrow going. Greg Jeffries even made the list. Reggie Jackson. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did not see a junior. Or the big hurt. Maybe they didn't make the set. You have to check it and see. I mean, there's a small gap here, so maybe they didn't make it. Maybe those are the ones missing. And then, um, looks like a complete factory set of, you know, um, 91. And yeah, they're all in the plastic wrappers. They're all wrapped individually, plastic. So, another factory set. It happened to be the stack with McGuire in it. And puzzle pieces. Probably rubber bands. Yeah, I can see the rubber band down in here broken off, just like in that one box I opened up that I had already. Complete with dry rot broken rubber bands. And then this is supposed to be a complete set of 87 tops. Factory set. I don't know. Hey, Cos, how's it going? And it looks complete. I mean, you can see the way they're collated, the way they sit in there. But, you know, there's a little bit of slosh, so maybe something's missing. The Bonds. I guess we should go right to card number 320, right? That'll tell us. 726. They're not going to be in order. Of course not. They're factory collated. Five. Yeah, so they're not... They're not Numerical order, so I'll go back and check that later. And then here's one of the things that I could not leave um, the the guy's table without. I saw these there, and I'm like, what? So it's hard to read. Let me open it up and see if it's down inside there. So this is this thing will ever focus. Cal Ripken Jr. Commemorative Pin Set Limited Edition of 2001 and this is number 127 of 2001 really cool looking pins i saw i'm like you know what that is like a unique um thing and there's the pins on the back so they are intact and that is that it actually should have had a piece of foam over the top but whatever so i saw that and i'm like you know what that's just pretty neat cool um, he's a part of baseball history and it's even the little, even the little thing here, even that's like a little metal plate. So that's pretty cool. It says, thanks, Cal, Iron Man, Cal Ripken, 81 through 2001. So pretty neat. I don't know what this sold for back in the day. Um, hard to tell what he wanted for that. Two bucks, 20 bucks. I don't know. Don't know what it sold for back in the day. I just saw it and said, you know what? I'll bundle it. Why? I don't think the factory sets ever came in numerical order. They were printed off in, in sheets, but I don't think even the sheets were uh, in numerical order. So the third vendor I came across, I bought this off of. for He wanted like seven bucks, uh, and I talked him down to four bucks. So I only actually made it to three vendors today. So now we're going into the second vendor. Let's make room because the second vendor had some really um, oddballs. Well, just stuff that I, I don't normally collect, but 
Um, it all was bundled. I bundled it. So if you guys ever watch um, American Pickers, I'm the Frank. I'm the Frank Frick, I guess, of baseball card bundling. So I got this little shoe box here full of a whole bunch of oddball stuff cards. I got this 3,200 count box full of a bunch of oddball stuff. Um, some of it's open packs of stuff that he just threw back in there. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to bundle it up. Some NASCAR. I saw these in here, little packs of these front row, Whitey Ford. Apparently, they were $15 back in the day. I saw like four of them. Some NASCAR stuff, you know. So, like, everything was opened up, but you never know um, what they left behind. So, let's check out these uh, little snap-togethers. Here's another set of front row. And they're all num numbered sets out of how many did they make up. 25,000 sets. So, and this set has Ernie Banks. That one has some, there's probably like five cards in each one. But let's get to some of these slabs. So here's an Opeachy Wendell Clark hockey. Apparently it was $10 back in the day. I don't know. Uh, here's a hockey guy from Parkhurst, uh, Patrick Waugh. Good Hall of Fame hockey player. Here's a Alex Rodriguez minor league card from Classic. Not autographed. That's from like an all-star game or something. Here's a rookie card of Jerome Bettis. Tenth round. Tenth pick number 10 on the first round. So he's the 10th overall pick. Here's Nolan Ryan in his tux. Ryan tux. Here's um, Paul Housley. Oh, again, these are OPG, which is cool. Um, here's a Jerome Bettis Bowman card. Um, hockey, 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 baseball. Baseball, flip, 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 football, and baseball. So here's a um, Junior Seau die cut, upper deck, um, all pro card. So rest in peace, Junior. Uh, here's Andy Pettit signing his contract to go up to the bigs. He's in a Yankees minor league uh Outfit right there. It says rookie card, but Columbus there. I don't know who AC is there. Probably one of the Florida teams. Oh, look, and there's a second one right behind it. A nice little rookie sticker on there, in case you didn't know that it was a rookie card. Let's just get to these other ones. Again, yeah, look at all these. I just bundled it up real quick. Ed Belfour. Goaltender, 10 of 10, so it's an insert card with uh, Dennis Potvin, I guess, on the back. Cool. Hockey. There's a Mike Piazza um, score rookie card, pinnacle rookie. Young Mike, before he got all beefed up. Bernie Williams rookie card from score 90. Uh, Ron Francis, uh, Hartford Whalers, OPG hockey. Another Bernie score, rookie, 92. How about some Brett Favre, uh, stretch drive, Brett Favre. That goes on the football. Here's a Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. All division team, Atlantic division. So Shaq cards are going up in value. So I may have, may have paid for the whole thing right here. Who knows, right? That's the first basketball card we came across. I did see, by the way, I did see some Jordan cards in here too, guys. So interesting to see that um, when we get to it. Jerome Bettis again, rookie card. Uh, oh, I got my phone over here. I'm not checking the chat. I'm very bad at that. Jay Smokes. Is this from the flea market? Yeah, this is, uh, Jay, this is from today. Um, the first Sunday that they are open. Nice bell for and Potvin. 82 OPG, yes. Um, yeah, th these were just boxes that I bundled. Like I just said, all right, how much for the whole box? That's the kind of way I approach these guys. Give me a number on the whole box. So there's a Jordan. Look at that. Michael Jordan, and it's an upper deck SP something. 
So I mean, between the shack and the Jordan here, that may have paid for the paid for the day. I don't know. I can get like fifty bucks a piece. Right? There's a Manny um, minor league card. Cal silver signature from Collector's Choice. Here's a uh, Emmett Smith. Oh, look at this. We got a 1980 George Brett. And it looks in good shape. Very nice. So, another baseball one. We got some stuff here. I saw this Ryan in here. It's um, Pro Mint, Nolan Ryan, some kind of gold foil card. Nolan Ryan, Living Legends with the golden arm so and it's numbered oh number one no number 14,560 but we didn't know if they printed a, a million them or not and just that's the number apparently they they did in the hundreds of thousands because it started with a zero so it was in the hundreds of thousands of that um junior say i'll clear mail in you're closer to winning a million dollars uh, another Bernie Williams from Bowman. Here's this guy liked uh, Jerome Bettis, apparently. Rookie card. Here is another Shaquille O'Neal rookie from 92-93 Fleer. So that looks pretty, pretty nice. So can just see three basketball cards so far. Might might have paid for the day. Ooh, looks like an old hockey card. Could be a mistake. Could not be an old one. Could be... A reprint looks like a reprint. Um, Parkhurst um, it says fifty two fifty three, but I don't think the card is from fifty two fifty three. Um, Alex would have to confirm or deny that. I mean, it looks old, but I don't think it is. I think it's a uh, a reprint. Cal Gardner for the Boston Brewers Center. But it's got French down here, French Canadian, and English up there. So that's pretty cool. And who's this from Pittsburgh? Lou Collier. And on the other side, oh, Derek Jeter. Nice. I like it. Jeter card. And here's another one. That's why now I'm really thinking they're just reprints. You don't get two of them. Jim. Oh, Tim. Miles Tim Horton. Tim Horton. Where have I heard that name before? Tim Horton. Because Alex said something about some Tim Horton cards or something. Or when um, we had conversations about hockey, he said Tim Horton. I had no idea what he was talking about. But. Don Russ, that's nobody. That's um, Ray Sanchez. Baseball card just laying loose in there. Oh, I got ugh, something here that's still in the wrapper. Game day wrapper. Or is it? Uh, Barry Foster still in his little pack. One card in the pack. Barry Foster. All right. So we got these, but they were already opened up. But I thought it was just neat because they were opened up, but they're still in the wrappers. So, that's cool. Got the wrappers to, you know, put in the wrapper collection, I guess. They're OPG. Four grams of OPG goodness, if you're a hockey guy. John Anderson. Um, no name on that one there. Got to look on the back. Darren Pang. Never heard of you, Darren. Sorry. Adam Crichton, Mike Allison, Chris Chelios. He's a good one. Maybe in the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure. Probably. So these are from 88-89, so it makes them 89-90 hockey. There you go. Tex already nailed it. Said 90 hockey. Beat me to it. So these are 90 hockey. I wasn't doing hockey that long into the game of card collecting. I did do into the 
70s and probably maybe hit an 80, like one 1980. Pat Verbeek, Steve Weeks, Mike Bullard, Alan Bester, Jim Plimpsky, Brett Suter. I'm sure he's um, one of the Suter brothers, right? Robert Picard. No relation to Captain Picard. In case you were wondering. Of the Enterprise. So some old, not so old score. Who's this? Is this a Charles Oakley miscut card? Is that what that is? Two different guys. New Jersey net guy. That's weird. Card got split right in half. For those, I guess, era collectors. That's a basketball card. We only have four basketball cards so far. So let's see. Here's a Alex Rodriguez minor league gold uh, leaf uh, card from '95. Here's um, archives from I don't know, 52 to 56. Brooklyn Dodgers, 10 cards. Look for Sandy Koufax autograph. So obviously they were looking for the Koufax autograph. So let's see. Ralph Branca. And I feel like you got a little bit of a brick going here. Cal Abrams. No. Preacher Rowe. Oh, look. Jackie Robinson. The reprints, but... We're looking for the Sandy Koufax autograph. I didn't say anything about Jackie Robinson. I don't know the Jackie Robinson card. Well, at least we got a couple of Jackie Robinson reprints out of this. And a Sandy Koufax rookie reprint. Look at that. This was a hot pack for sure. But I guess they just opened it up for the... Um, looking for the... Um, autograph. They're like, crap, no autograph. There's Don Zimmer. You guys remember him from the old Spike Don Zimmer uh, days when um, there's Jackie and Ralph Franca. Um, when Pedro spiked old Popeye right into the ground head first. Good times. And here's a bunch. So there's a, just a bunch of ripped open packs here. Here's... Um, Five cards per pack. Includes one autograph card. So you want to bet the autographs in here? Probably not. Tony Clark. Yeah, Al Martin. There's Piazza, though. They left me a Piazza. They left me a Delgado. They left me a uh, Tim Salmon. They left Andres Gallardo. Ron Coomer. And Sean Estes. But they took the autograph card. These were probably pretty expensive back in the day since they came with an autograph. They're probably $10.00. Um, probably a pack or more. 1997 Dunross Signature Series. Oh, wait, wait, oh that's, that's a hockey one. Pavel Bure, Bury. Probably not pronouncing that right. But it's Pavel card. And that takes care of all of the... Um, what's it called? All the, the slabs or whatever you want to call them. So what's this? Michael Jordan, Living Legend. So it must be all Michael Jordan cards in these packs. So I wonder what this set would go for if you had the complete set, since all the Michael Jordan stuff is going through the roof. But these are all, I've never even seen these, but, you know, I wasn't collecting basketball either by this time. So let's see. Hey, Papa Jay. Pop in and give you a quick thumbs up and have a great day. All right. Thanks, Papa Jay, if you're still here. Donald Bloomdahl, the flea market finds. Yes. That's what I got. Picked up all this stuff. So here's, I don't know, six man, some basketball. So we'll put them. So far, guys, the basketball, I think that we've got the winners on are going to be these here out of this box. Pretty cool. Michael, a couple shacks. So, I guess if you're going to say it, if it was worth it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that mustache on Jeff Gordon. Oh, my God. Did he take, like, his his sister's um, eyeliner and darken that mustache in something? It's like he's like a 16 or 17-year-old kid there. 
Oh my God. So we even got NASCAR. Martin Brodeur. Um, here's some upper deck. Like so this was three dollars and twenty nine cents back in the day. And oh they left Kirby. They left the die cut in here, which was nobody, my Greenwell, but Carl Everett. They left the Manny in here. So I don't know what they were opening this up looking for. I guess the inserts, right? The the very, very um inserts like the the cards of the day the chase cards they left everything else behind bobby labani jerry rice emmett smith so we're back into getting some football here's um sanders and kelly and magic and emmett more racing oh who's this a hockey heroes um joe juno juno joe juno do you guys know joe juno um, so here's some more NASCAR. We're not going to really go into that. More NASCAR from Action Packed. We'll just pop it here. You can see, um, is that Dale Jr.'s car? I don't know. Or Bill Elliott. Maybe that's Bill Elliott's car. Bud Light. Who knows? Um, just the start. Just 99 $2 for, um, football cards, maybe. No, there's baseball in here, too. Uh, Chris Benson. Rick Elder, Luis Viscayano, Adam Kennedy, Vernon Wells, and a football guy, Ricky Williams. No, that was the best one. The football guy was the best one, Ricky Williams. So, no, I'll just put it there. I went a baseball pack stack. So, yeah, I didn't look at all this stuff, guys. I just bundled up. So I have no idea exactly what I got into here, whether I got a good deal or not. Looks like a, a lot of racing there, but there's um, Dale Earnhardt. More racing there. What's this? NFL. Okay. These are from the Ted Williams Company. So that's a pretty nice Johnny Unitas card. And a Brett Favre. OJ. Um, chalkboard Legends. Uh, checklist. Uh, Dan Fouts. And here's like little Pogs. Romy Gabriel and Leroy Jordan. You popped them out if you're a Pogger. You enjoyed doing the Poggy thing. And this was $1.79. Um, back in the day, someplace called Thunder Road. I don't know what that was, or card shop maybe. Thunder Road. Sounds like a racing car. Card shop to me, but Top Chrome Hockey, oh, 2002, 2003. Who do we have in here? Um, Owen Nolan. Matt, Matt Sundin. I think he's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? Nicholas Lindstrom, he's probably in the Hall of Fame. And Dennis Seidenberg. Okay. So. Hockey. Here's Tops 2002 Major League Baseball Series 2. Uh, Bowman. Uh, it's a hodgepodge. Sean Kemp. Glenn Rice. Irvin Magic Johnson. Um, Steve Avery, and here's the cards that are supposed to be in it, and they're, you know, I thought they might have been bricked. You know, there's a little bit of bricking going on here. No? Jeff Facero. Geez, a lot of team cards in there, team photos. All right, so and that was $1.49 back in the day. More NFL football. I don't know if you guys even like football. If you want to even take the time to look at these, I want the Patrice Romine. If you pull it, I don't know who Patrice Romine is. Um, so that's football. Here's some hockey. Uh, football. Here's some nice upper deck football, though. Got the Boomer. Got the, um, what you got? Thurman Thomas. Here's the um, Chase card. Heath Schuler. <clears throat> 
But he got an Emmett Smith here. Oh, you look, you got a um, Joe Montana. You got your die cut still in here. Simon Fletcher. He's no slouch. Alonzo Spellman and Cortez Kennedy. So a lot of good uh, football players in that pack. You'd have been stoked back in the day opening that pack, ripping it. But looks like they're just ripping them for whatever inserts we might have been in. This was $3 for this archive. 12 cards, 3 bucks. And once you know it, someone opened it up. Of course, they're all opened up. But let's see what they left us. Dale Crandall. Oh, look, Willie Mays. Very nice. Yogi Barra. Come on, they left some good cards in here. Thank you. They took whatever they wanted, though, that's for sure. They left the Willie and the Yogi, without a doubt. Two, two nice cards there. Hall of Famers and probably other Hall of Famers in that little stack, but we're not going to dwell on it too much. We just want to get through this. So here's some um, um, action pack. Looks like a minor league. But we got Roberto Clemente right there, and then we got some 20, 125th anniversary commemorative gold card there. And look, uh, Roberto Clemente. And we've got two of the same Roberto Clemente. What are the chances of that in the same pack? And then we've got a Michael Tucker and a Curtis Pride and a Charles Johnson. But we got a couple um, Roberto Clemente's out of that. So not bad. 259 back in the day. I want to see what's in this upper deck one here. Dust everywhere. So we got a Biggio right off the bat. Craig Biggio. Delano De Shields. Apier. Ken Caminetti die cut. Chris Hammonds. Ryan Klesko. There's one of the chase cards, I guess. Minor Leaguer at the time. And but Biggio is definitely. And this was $5 a pack. Plus tax. $4.99 plus tax. I don't know if we'll ever focus on that because I don't know what's with this camera. And it's not willing to focus. But anyway, $4.99 for that. Oh, 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 oh. We got a little case here full of some Bowman's Best. Okay. We might have something here. Here's the Bowman's Best Piazza. Um, I don't know what year these are, but. If you get a whole tin of these, might be uh, some good cards in here. Matt Williams. Ellis Burks. Roger Clemens. Then the minor leaguers must be in blue. Kirby Puckett. The pros are in red. Yeah, that's the way I'm going with that. Brett Butler. Here is Tim Salmon, Chad Mata. Don't know what happened to Chad. We know what happened to uh, Salmon. You don't to pretty much greatness. Carlos Delgado, Dante Bichette, Robbie Beckett. How uh, about another Piazza one? That's the second one of those. Second one of this Pozo guy. Dave Justice. Very nice. That's in good shape. How about a Fred McGriff, Brooke Kanishik, Ken Kanishik, whatever. Randy Myers, Cliff Floyd, Big Ben, minor leaguers, Robbie Beckett, minor leaguer, Frankie Rodriguez, a whole stack of these. There's like a hundred of these cards. Another Puckett. Kirby Puckett. I have to take a stack off so they don't slide out of here. Got Kirby Puckett. Deshaun Warren. Carlos Delgado. Rod Beck. Carlos Delgado. Ellis Burks again. Bill Pulsifer. 
Ray Lankford, there's a Tom Glavin. Javi Lopez and Jorge Posada. I think Posada wins on that card. Alan Bennis. Here's a um, Johnny Damon. Marquise Grissom. There's Jorge Posada. Regular card. Nice. Who's this? Manny Ramirez, nice. Bobby Bonilla. Hector Carrasco. Dion Sanders, Neon Dion. Manny Ramirez again. Carlos Bayerga. Andy Van Slyke. There's another Frank Rodriguez. Matt Williams. Brian Hunter, Chipper Jones, look at that, very young Chipper, Chipper wins this one over Travis Fryman, 10 out of 10 times, John Allrood, Paul O'Neill, Roger Clemens, Lankford, Riho, Cliff Floyd, Super, you know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen any refractors, though. So maybe that's what they took out of here. Mark Grace. Sean Green. Chen Ho Park. Jose Canseco. Another Sean Green. Oh, and here's a refractor. It's nobody, though. It's a Roger Cedeno refractor, but... Uh, it's nobody good. That stinks. Roger Clemens. There's Junior with Damon. Junior wins that one. Delgado again. Pokey Reese. Wilson Alvarez. Joey Hamilton. Kevin Mitchell. Randy Myers again. There's a Javi Lopez, a super rookie. Albert Bell. Super veteran. Dave Winfield trucking around them bases. Helmets off. Just flying around those bases. And last two guys. So we had one refractor in there. Not bad. That's a big old stack of cards. There's at least a hundred of those. Very nice. Uh, what year are these? I don't know. What year are these? 91? 91 Bowman's Best? 93 it has here. So 94? I don't know. I'm going to look down here. It says 94. So I guess they're from 94. Yes, Winfield had scholarships to play all those sports. He was that good of an athlete. Most of these guys, though, most of these professional guys are that good. All right, so we got some kind of racing cards. I don't know. You're in the racing stack pile. I'm not going to look at those right now. Um, All-time fan favorites. That sounds like a good. There's racing for dollar sixty-nine. Basketball. Uh, top traded rookie. Okay, baseball, football. I'm gonna separate these packs real quick. Again, all these packs were already opened up, but Michael Jordan cards for the Michael Jordan set. That might be um, a hidden gem in here too. Racing hockey. Look at that hockey pack. Four bucks for that. Premier edition of whatever it was. Some football. There's a Piazza. Goes under baseball. Jim Tomei from Select. And here's a Bowman Rick Nash. Young Stars from Bowman. Rookie card. Rick Nash. Hockey goes there. What's this? In the wrapper. Some hockey. I like the fact that at least they left the wrappers on them. That is cool. I know they've already been opened, but... Cool. Because I've been saving wrappers over the last uh, few years. 
So that's cool. Kind of like like a museum piece, you know, boxes, wrappers, cards, unopened packs to go with it too. But so Whalers, John Anderson, Bolton, Paul McLean, Greg Johnson, Dino Cicerelli. That's the name I recognize. John Charbot. There's a sticker. Number 30 in the flyers. Keith Crowder. Steve Thomas. Mike Ramsey. Scott Arneal. Arneal. Ray Farrow. And Marcel Dion. Big name in hockey. Did Marcel Dion, right? I'm sure he's a Hall of Famer. Look at that career on Marcel. And it happened to have been maybe the gum card. It's got gum stain. But still, hockey with a wrapper. Nice one. We put that with the other hockey and the wrappers. Let's see what else we got here. And then we can just go figure out which ones we want to go through. So, VIP, that's a racing one. We're not going to mess with the racing cards. Michael Jordan pack, we're definitely going to go it. Here's a Frank Thomas um, 50th anniversary reprint. Very nice. Good shape. Crisp, sharp corners. Little, little, little thing going on there, but that can be straightened right out. And I think we had this one before. No. Got Mike Sweeney and Pudge Rodriguez on it. More Michael Jordan packs. Here's a 72-73 NHL All-Stars. Bobby Clark. So is this Topps card? Yes, it looks like Topps are all peachy. So peachy, you know, Topps. I see no French on it, so it's a Topps card. And it was for a buck at one point. You could have got this for a buck. I don't know. Hockey goes in a hockey stack. Oh, look, we got a a rookie um, Sosa Delgado. Here's a Bugs Bunny, you know, cartoon cards. They're upper deck, but it's got Junior on it with Bugs. Oh, here's a sterile strawberry then and now holographic type card. Pretty cool. Barry Bonds from Jimmy Dean, 92, and Juan Gonzalez, Jimmy Dean, 92. We have an 87 Mike Schmidt. Maybe that can go in another box and we can complete the set. Very nice, sharp card there. Carlos Delgado. In his catcher uniform there, uh, Alex. I think I saw a comment where you were like, you are looking for one where he's in a catcher's uniform. I got Mike Piazza in his catcher uniform. Yeah. It's a second year card. Or later. Second year. Who knows? Second or third year card. Um, here's a Delgado too. No, Cliff Floyd. But that's one of these came regionally distributed in the boxes from the East. It's got the E on here. So this was the Eastern Division team boxes. How about a insert parallel Barry Bonds? Home Run Club, uh, of course. So that's cool. That survived in the box. There's a um, Gary Huff, quarterback of the Buccaneers. And it's a 77 highlights card, so it's a 1978. It's card number one in the set. So that goes in the football stack. All right, let's see what else we got here. Some more hockey. So we'll put that with hockey. Oh, Bernie Williams, Flair. Nice, Flair, Flair. Oh, Roger. Roger Clemens. Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken. They glow in the dark, apparently. That sticker. Oh. And another Cal Ripken and the Battle for Eternity. Okay. Never saw that card before. Cal Ripken. Barry Bonds, big head. And it only got bigger. Another nice Cal Ripken. Centering looks pretty good on that too. Little little top to bottom maybe off. Cal. Nolan Ryan. Very big head, Bonds. 
Fred Goldrush McGriff. Another Cal. Another Roger Clemens. And a Tony Gwynn. Very nice. Uh, some racing cards. Put that in the racing box. Some more football. That goes in the football pile. All right. What do we got here? We got some racing. We got some uh, Fleer, Fleer cards. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's check out these football cards. Reggie White. Nice. Class of 2006. Green Bay Packers, Philadelphia Eagles. Hall of Fame, Class of 2006. Beautiful card. Because in the football stack. What do we have here? Oh, it's just a thick card of Jason Schmidt. Bowman. Oh, for promotional use only. Right up my alley. Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Promo card. That goes in the binder. Very nice. Steve Smith. Draft picks. Prospect card. Football stack. There's a nice Reggie. Gold border. Nice foil border. Nice Bowman card. Reggie White. And Fleer Flair. Barry Bonds. Feeling second or something. Hit and run. Looks like he's looking in on a hit and run. See if the ball's on the ground. And we got some more loose cards here. So what do we have here? Oh, some more uh, Bowman cards for the Bowman Best Classic Jason Kidd Basketball. Not many basketball. Uh, Glistening Gold. Yeah, okay. Heinz Ward Football. Um, Thomas Jones. It says... You upper deck promo. So it's a promo card maybe. It says upper deck promo. We'll put it with the promo card. Number 29 of 50. McCarley. McCarley. Opeachy. Gold, gold border. Alvin McCauley. Very nice. Low number. 20, uh, 29 of 50. Hockey stack. And here's a stadium called Master Card. Maybe mail-in thing. Of Greg Maddox, Maurice Vaughn, Junior Seau again, um, Troy Aikman, Troy Aikman, Pacific. How about a Emmett Smith, Pacific? Not much on the back. Card 18 of 20. So I don't know if that was a promo, promo set or not. There's Cal Ripken again. Ooh, future stars, Raphael Palmero. Barry Bonds. Junior going up for a ball. I think he got that one. Uh, Pinko Masks. Some for the Lightning. Uh, maybe that's the owner of the mask. Pat Jablonski. Maybe that's who this mask that was. Here's a very nice Yamar. Yamar Jagger. That long hair on that guy. Oh, what's this? Heading for the hall. 50th anniversary. Mike Piazza. That is a nice shiny card there. Oh, and it's a sample. It's going in the book. The only thing missing is the numbers. Sometimes these cards came with numbers down here where it, where it has that D. If they were a limited production run. 16 of 20. Wow, another sample one for the binder. Very nice. Might have something going on on the border here. I don't know what, what all this is on the border here. Something going on there. Have to check it out later. And we have a die cut upper deck. Charles Barkley, Sir Charles. And how about a Bowman Mike Piazza for the Mets? So that's later on in his career. 2003, so it makes it, what, a 2004 Bowman? Baseball. So this junior wasn't the promo, because the promo looks exactly like that. All right, so I said we're going to look at this one here, so let's take a look at this, um, see what this is. It doesn't look like it's 
baseball, football, hockey, basketball related. It's comic book related. Power Blast, 16 of 18. Who's that? Power Blast? Or that's, what's his name? Deadpool. It's Deadpool because it says right there, Deadpool on it. So they made comic ones too. Deadpool. Electra. Yep. Uh, Hawk versus Thing. Okay. Colossus Defects. Okay. Justice, but not Dave Justice. Uh, Gambit. Uh, Zusar. Don't know. Universal Guardian. Hmm. Members of Shield, I guess. Carnage. Oh my God, his hands. The coming of Alactus. Alactus. Okay. And Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Sounds like a WWF or WWE wrestler name. Hello, my name is Johnny Blaze. But I think like the insert card would have been this because it's two it's double two sided Deadpool card. Very nice, but evidently they didn't want it. So we'll put them back in the box that they came out of and close it up. And there we go. These are neat boxes. Of course they sat and yeah, they sat like that in the box. Alright, so that goes in a total new category by itself. And guys, this is just one box. I got Oh my god, so much more to go through. Michael Jordan. Here's a Piazza out the deck. What's this? 52 Tops Rookie, so that's baseball. Here's another Jordan pack. Baseball. Uh, assets. I have no idea what that is, so we'll wait on that. Strike Force. Someone for the Cleveland Browns, number two. Is that Tim Couch? Rookie. It is Couch. Tim Couch rookie card. And where's he today? Home sitting on the couch. Uh, who's this? Dante Culpepper. And he's home sitting on the couch with Tim Couch. And Cordell Stewart. He's home sitting on the couch with the rest of those guys. And who's this guy? Maximum Impact. Curtis Martin. Now he's in Hall of Fame, isn't he? Spotlight. Ovation. Champ. Bailey. And he may be in the Hall of Fame, or he's on his way there. I think he had a pretty good career. Here's Fred Taylor. Maybe a different Fred Taylor? I don't know. Football, though. Mario Lemieux. Gretzky's Great Ones. Mario Lemieux with the cup. So here's a hockey card. Another one. Thorin Fleury. Thorin Fleury. Okay. Luke Robitaille. Robitaille, whatever. Uh, this must be hockey, so hockey goes there. This is minor league baseball. This is baseball. This is Paul Coffey, one of Gretzky's great ones. Paul Coffey. And this is a numbered card. This is number 24 of 119. And it is Richard Hamilton... Detroit Pistons first edition card too. So first off the printing press, I guess. I don't know. You guys might be able to tell me. I have no idea. But it's a basketball card. And assets. We don't know what the assets are yet. Uh, Winston Cup. So we know that's a racing pack. Uh, upper deck. Looking for excited. No, that's a racing. This is f -f 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 football. Ooh, another one with the wrapper on it. We're going to go to that one next. Let's just sort out the rest of this. This is racing. It says racing right on it. Baseball. We have some, like, slabs. Hockey. We've got action packed. That's got to be racing. It's got a checkered flag on it. All right. This one is not numbered. And it is Paul. Chris Paul. So he's a good ball player, for sure. Heard his name. Uh, 
How about a John Elway? Very nice. Stadium club. This is a Joe Montana action packed. Very nice. Here's a hockey top stadium club chrome, Marc Messier. Oh, it's just top stadium club, but it's a chrome card. Number three of nine, it says. So, don't know what that means, Marc Messier. Uh, football card. Wes, Wes Welker. That must be a new card. Uh, here's a pretty neat card number eight of ten, Mike Richter. And it kind of still has the protective thing on it, so that's good. That protects the, uh, the card from scratches and stuff. Very nice. Hockey. Here's a Ozzy Smith promotion card. Oh, that's a beautiful looking card. Look at that. Look at the shine on that. That is a beautiful card. Ozzy Smith. Nothing special. And I saw that gold printing on the back mean something. I don't know. But goes in baseball. And here's a Brett Favre Packers score. Very nice. Goes in the football. And we've got a couple more hard cases here. Who's this? I said Barry Foster die cut, upper deck. Not numbered or anything like that. Football. Oh, that's a beautiful Emmett Smith of score select. Man, the colors, that brown border just really does it. Really nice. Very nice card. Emmett Smith. One of the greatest. Running backs. And then we got Larry Johnson. Basketball. Upper deck style. We got a John Elway. Upper deck football. We got a Champ Bailey again. Bowman. Football. And oh, an 83. So this is from 84. Dan Marino, AFC Dolphins. And forget about Steve Barkowski. It's the Marino. Completion for Marino is 58.4%. Dave Craig had higher completion rate, but fewer touchdowns. Fewer, uh, yeah. Marino wins it. That goes in the football stack. All right, so that is everything that's loose. Now, I want to look at this one here, see what hockey cards are in here. Because I know you hockey fans, I do have at least two of you out there, are dying to see what's in this one. You know, it's already opened up. It still feels like all the cards were here for some reason. I may have picked out, like, one card. But we're going to go through it anyway. Tom McCarthy, Doug Jarvis, Bob Carpenter, James Patrick, Dan Quinn, Red Larson, Oh, red sounds like a racing car guy, stock car. Al McInnes, all star. Troy Murray, Matt Nas Naslund, Steve Con Conroyd, just spelled different. Mike Gartner, there's Al McInnes face card, and Alan. Shiv, Shivier, Shivery, Shivery, whatever. Very nice. Now, I want to see these um, Jordan cards real quick. We don't have to go through all the rest of them, but these Jordan cards look nice. How many cards are in this set, I wonder? Got quite a few packs here. Where are the card numbers at? 47, 59, 36. So there's at least 87. So the numbers are growing. 103, 102. So there's at least 100 cards in this set. 102 cards. Very nice. Very nice. Never seen these before. So they're cool. Michael Jordan cards. Probably worth a penny or two nowadays. I'm going to have to excuse me, look them up. I'm not going to go through all the Jordan cards. There's quite a few left here. So we're just going to put them in the basketball stack because we know they're all Michael Jordans. So we're going to go through this upper deck. Six forty-nine a pack from Thunder Road. Okay, well, some guy for the Celtics. Where's his name at? D Brown. Okay. Oh, look at the die. Two die cuts in here. Really, Vernon Maxwell. 
Ta Tony Kakuch, um, West West Pearson, Tony Kakuch, regular. John Starks, and here's a hologram one of Eddie Jones, the Lakers. Willie Bolton, David Benoit, and we're back to the beginning. Neat looking cards, and he got two die cuts out of that. Not bad, I guess. No big names. I mean, Starks, I guess. Don't know. That goes in a basketball pack stack. All right. How about you hockey guys? You want to see these last couple of hockey packs before we move on to the next box? These might be all minor leaguers. I don't know. They're classic. Oh, here's a gold one. It's a checklist number two, Pavel Burry. So. Craig Darby. Uh, Corey got serrated at the top from the pack closer. Zip. Corey Hirsch. But you got a gold checklist, but it's got Pavel on it. Not bad. Nice looking cards. Hockey stack. How about some SP? If I can get them out of here without wrecking them. Here we go. I think all these are numbered on the back, too. No? No. Okay. Maybe only certain ones are numbered. That's a thick card right there, though. Patrick Waugh. What a card to pull right off the bat, though. Patrick Waugh. There's only three cards in there. Brad Hall. Who's this little guy? Vincent Ice Cavalier. Ice I Le Cavalier. I don't know. You're going to have to help me with that one now. Got a Patrick Wall and a Brett Hall, though. I love these, like, medallions they have stamped into there. Pretty cool. $6 for three cards. There might have been a fourth card in there. Who knows? No? Only three cards per pack? So, that's that. How about these hockey ones here? Tops Hockey. <clears throat> these are from 84, 85. Dan Bouchard, Tom Barrasso, All Star, Mike Zook, Pierre LaRouche, I guess, Brad Maxwell, Jim Fox, Eddie Johnstone, Dennis Potvin, Tony Tanney, Marcel Dion again, Mel Bridgman, Barry Peterson, Sylvan Turgeon. Tony Tanny again, and John Ogrenek. Wow. Surprised I nailed, I think I nailed all those names. Right, put them back in there. Wrapper, and here's a $4 pack of images again. That last one was pretty nice, so let's see what we get here. Jason Zent, Peter Sarkora, Sokora. Todd Bertaluzzi, Chris Osgood. The gold card is Jason Woolley and Jeff O'Neill. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Again, thanks, guys, for stopping in. The hobbyist, I was a King fan until they traded Gretzky. Then I became a Rangers fan. <laughs> it happens. You got to go with, like, like, I was a Jets fan when I was younger, and, you know, they had Namath and Reagans, and slowly those two guys went away and I ended up just rooting for Washington. Here's some different cars. Nobody important, but they did. Jalen Rose, I guess, would be the name here. Oh, there's a silver signature. Manon. Oh, it's, it's her. Got two cards, a silver signature and her other card. Manon. Alex probably heard of her. Manon. Manon. She actually, I think, got some ice time in the NHL, but not a lot, I don't think. All right, guys. That, that box is done. We're not going to go through these packs here. We're just going to set them off to the side. Because I'm going to get to um, these other boxes. Man, this is taking forever. 
But we'll organize this now. We'll put them in here nice and organized, hopefully. Hopefully. Don't know if it's going to work or not. Some of these uh, plastic cases are pretty wide. Um, so, oh, because these are the these are the um, promo cards. That's why they're separate. Okay. And that's a very badly miscut card. Put these guys here. Uncle Jordan goes with the basketball. Guys, so for those of you guys just tuning in, I think like the finds of the bo this box so far were these cards here. Two Shaq and a Michael Jordan card. I think, I mean, there's a lot of other nice cards in here, but I think those were pretty much the nicest of the bunch. We got an OJ card. We got a bunch of Favre cards. And what I did is I just, when I went up to the, the guy's table, peaceful people's table, I just tried bundling, bundling everything they they had and try to just kind of say, you know, how much for this, how much for the whole, whole deal. And that's what I walked away with. So... They made me an offer I couldn't resist, I guess. All right, so that's kind of that box. We're not going to go through all these packs. Well, we've already talked about this stuff, gone through that stuff. So I'm just going to box them up. Make room for something else. Almost fit everything into one box. Not bad. Well, if I get my chat, Donald Blum, I guess we just chat with each other. I'm sorry, Donald. Um, I will take time to look into the chat. All right, so we got this box here. Well, you know what? This doesn't look like a whole lot in here. We can go through this. Hey, Donald, yes, thanks. Uh, remember the great sports cards? It was before I was doing TTMs. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and give everybody, um, give everyone wrenches so you can link your, um, link your channels, your YouTube channel, so that people can go right to you and, um, oh, great, all right. Came up. I don't know what happened there. Let's close that out. Trying to make getting all my notifications to come across. Hold on, I'm trying to make moderators. All right. So remember the great sports. You are now a moderator. You can um who else is in here that doesn't have it? And guys, don't forget to link your, your channels so that everyone can go around and Chris Bolton. There you go. You don't have it. So now you do, Chris. You are now a moderator. Please feel free to link your YouTube channels so that we can just go find each other quicker and help grow each other's um, um, channels. I mean, there's so many of us that are still, you know, struggling to get to a thousand and we just can't seem to get there. Like I know. Um, um, Jeff Airtime is at like 980 or some crazy number and he can't get over that he can't get over that hump he's got a really good Sunday show that he does and it just seems like I don't know but anyway this box has got a mixture of vintage and reprints and stuff like that that's a nice Yogi reprint there oh look another Michael Jordan that might be worth 5 bucks who knows Here's a 75 Wayne Twitchell. Here's a pack of racing. Eh. Racing. Well, yeah, you go up there. 1980. Here's an Andy Moog. 
OPG. Hockey. We have baseball, hockey, basketball. What's this? Oh, look at this. This is not open. This is one of those mail-in sets. Redeemed. I guess you sent in and get these um, special cards from Stadium Club. So that's one little set. Didn't know. It says of 12. So. Oh, no. That's something else. 13 of 26. So it's a 26-card set. But I don't think there's 26 cards. So you might get 10 cards. How about a Drew Bledsoe in the old screw down? At one time, someone wanted $15 for that card. Got some ding corners on this one here, but we got here some tops. Tops. Enter the ticket to history promotional. I don't know. Never seen this. Guess it was some, some kind of mail in offer where you open it up here. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it because it's probably expired already. Mario Mendoza. Here's a Tony Kukuch. Is it? Yep, Tony Kukuch. Basketball. Goes there. Here's another hockey. Dale Havercheck. Um... Blue Jays, Future Stars, Josh Hamilton. So it must be like a Hamilton rookie card. And Jerome Bettis. This guy really liked Jerome Bettis. Draft pick, $10 for that. How about Doug Gilmore? Now that's a, a thin four screw screw down though. But I remember those. I still have cards in those. Hey, Mountain Gorilla, how's it going? Gilmore, so that's under hockey, right? Hockey. Oh, look, you want some mustard cards? But no mustard on your cards, right? These are French's. Mustard. Mattingly and Clark. Ripken and Smith. Really good ball players there. And this is some kind of refractor. Musa Smith. I don't know. Rookie, oh, it's numbered. Number three of 250. Whoever Musa Smith is. It's got a nice refractor card here. Rookie for Baltimore Ravens. What year is this? This is from 2003. Okay. He's probably no longer playing. And it goes under football. Here's a redemption card for the New Jersey Devils. Didn't we have one of those before? Hockey. Here's a Boomer Esiason rookie card from 86 tops. Football. Here's a, oh, this is a hockey relic card of Henrik, Henrik Talon, Talender, Buffalo Sabres. Okay, fabric of the future, game-worn jersey. Congratulations, da, 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 young stars. Two thousand and three. I don't know if he's still playing. All right, how about some older baseball here? Oh, that's got to be a reprint. No, it's not. I'll be dang. Nice, Ryan. Duren, Ryan Duren. Yankee, too, at that. Nice. Joe Liss. Atlanta Braves uh, leaders. Dale Murphy and Necro. 75 tops. Rough on the corners. Rounded corners. Very rounded corners. Boogered up. All rounded corners. Rounded corners. Fuzzy Corners. Here's a 80 Greg Lazinski Burger King card. So this was produced for Burger King and handed out at the Burger Kings, I guess. Cornet Collections, how's it going? Let's see, I would love to buy those 77 Tops baseball from you. All right, well, we'll see. You just have to shoot me an email. How about a die-cut Sammy Sosa? Nice. 
Oh, this is a Bowman, and it's like like got glitter on it. You can feel it. You can see it. All that sparkly stuff is like on the top of the card. It's weird. Don't know anything about hockey, uh, but it does have some black chipping down here on the black border on the back of the card. I don't know who the guy is. You hockey guys would know who he is. How about a turkey red of Stan Musial? Nice. A turkey red border, Carlos Delgado. Uh, someone put SP on there. I don't know if it means it's a short print or what. But cool. Different back. Some hockey guys. Um, Martin Brodeur. Heard of him. I'm going in the football for the Lions. Barry Sanders. Very nice card. Football. There's a Joe Montana. Pro Bowl card. Playing for the Chiefs. Oh, look at this. Roger Clemens. Hollow View. Upper deck. Very nice. And here's a um, Big Dogs. Brandon Average from Oklahoma. Tops draft picks with a relic. Not numbered. Go under f -f football. Here's a die cut of Jamal Mashburn. Looks like someone like a <laughs> shark just bit into the sides of the card, but it's pretty cool. Jamal Mashburn got all gold on the back too. Pretty cool. Goes in the basketball pile. Well, where the that Delgado come from? Um. Delgado. Oh, that? I don't know. It's a turkey red. I don't know. Number 339. All right. So here's one of those um, front row with Yogi Berra. It's a little set numbered uh, 25,000. Still sealed from the manufacturer. So that's cool. I've got a couple of those. Um, Johnny Bench, Roy Smalley, Mr. Tidrow. We won't call him by his first name. Here's a front row limited edition uh, basketball set. Number 9,779 of 50,000. And it's got Dikembe Mutombo on the front. Basketball. Here's a limited edition front row again with Steve Smith on the front 1,740 of 25,000 basketball I guess there's a front row Buck Leonard five bucks same deal goes under baseball here's a traded to the Orioles in 1966 Frank Robinson card number five of twelve Count on cards, number six. Series number nine. A lot of cards in that set. Uh, really rounded up corners, but it's Terry Kennedy. Jim Barr, Dick Haverlow, Mark Little. Who's the rookie cards? Don Asse, I guess. Oh, here's one. Stan Williams. Nice. Looks legit to me. 75, Jim Ray. 75, Johnny Oates. And that's just one very old top loader. Charlie Williams. This is, oh, here's one. Tommy Hutton, Alan Foster from 69 Rookie Stars. Very nice. 1970 tops. Uh-oh, here's a mail-in set. Still sealed up. Premier Hockey. Look at that. It's winner... T class A, I guess. They're A, B, C, D. And on the back is Joe Juno. And it shows everyone who's in this set. Um, don't know if there's a Gretzky in here or not. Premier Black Gold. That's one of the mail-in offers. Goes under hockey. Basketball front row. Basketball. Mickey Rivers, 
Danny Thompson, Pete Broborg, Bill Robinson, Rogers Hornsby. We got a Dale Earnhardt and a Davy Allison and family. Uh, we got some sheets in there too. What's this? Oh, they opened it up. It was a basketball thing. Oh, it's got some kind of upper deck Japanese writing on it. NBA. Okay. Don't know. 94-12. Don't know. Cost 300 yen, I guess. Carl Malone. Oh, it's got nice Japanese writing on the back. Or Chinese. Couldn't tell you. But they definitely picked out the cards they wanted, I'm sure. Todd Day. That's cool. Never seen these cards. Never even knew they existed. Hmm. Upper Deck made them, though. And now you never get them. Oh, there it goes. Got them back in. Just like a penny sleeve. Put that in the basketball pile. How about a Joe Montana Upper Deck? Sorry about bumping the camera. That was a $5 card at one point. I do not, but my email is Chris Bolton. Okay. Okay, I'm building this set. Shoot me an email. Do you have an email? Blah, blah, blah. I have a ton of 77 Tops Baseball comments, mostly from vending boxes. If anybody's interested, there you go. Rob G. Six to 8,000 hockey cards. I got a box of a plot and... About a month ago, I know nothing about hockey. There you go, Chris Bolton. I'm looking on Ryan's seventh no hitter from Leaf. Nice. And here is um, Barry Sanders. It looks like he's at the Pro Bowl in Hawaii. Yeah, it says Upper Deck PB1, so it must be Pro Bowl 1. Ten bucks back in the day. They don't do the Pro Bowl in Hawaii anymore. I, when I was in Hawaii, oh, God, back in, what year was it, 2015, maybe late 2014, and um, the Pro Bowl was, it was run down. They had a flea market in the, in the, uh, in the uh, parking lot around the whole stadium. It was nothing but, it was ringed by flea markets. Greg Gross, rookie card of... Doug Alt, I guess, and Rich Dower. Here's a uh, Ray Fossey, 75, but the 75s and the freaking 77s have boogered up corners on a lot of them. Rick Baldwin, Bill Robinson, Gary Ward would be the guy there, Woody Fryman. What's this 84 doing in here? Jeez, get rid of that. Gary Lavelle. Bob Boone. Wow, this Bert Hooten's all chewed up. Like a wreck got a hold of it. Terry Harmon and Mike Anderson. I'm sorry, you know, I was just messing around. There he is. He's still in his case. He didn't come flying out. Fernando. Looks like um, I got some plastic sleeves in here, too. Let's get to these. Oh, it looks like they're autographs. So, this is a numbered autograph, 6196. Who is that guy? Roger Selkhead. Um, autograph, Jerry Whitaker. Here's a hockey, Nikolai Kobin Bulin. Don't know. Joe Zedzik. I don't know. This one's, oh yeah, I guess that's it right there. Ted Dury. Mickey Morandini. And he was an in-person one, looks like. The rest are certified, maybe. Because they're from the signature, rookie signature cards. I would imagine that's, and they're numbered. Yeah. Brad Bombardier. Okay. Yannick Dube. And Shane McChorley. So, all autographs. What's in here? Uh, it looks like more autographs. Brad 
Bruce Adams. Uh, Jamal Anderson, so I recognize that name. 2,767 of 7,750, Jamal Anderson. And I don't recognize any of the other guys' names, but they're all numbered. Autographs. Who's this? Mark Valdez, Josh Booty, never heard of him. Sean Johnson, Matt Trainer, Yates Hall, never heard of you. Jacob Shoemate, nope. Tyrone Hill, yeah, you almost made it, Tyrone. Bryant Brown, I think he made it to the major leagues for a little bit. Andre King. So Tyrone Hill almost made it, and Bryant Brown did make it. Nice signature, though. Tyrone Hill's got a very nice signature. So is Bryant Brown. They all do. They're actually legible. Except that one got smudged. Not like today's guy's autograph, and it's like initial number. Uh, scribble, scribble. Jeremy Nunnally, Vaughn Bryant again, Joe Pennis. Um, Glenn Foley, okay, so he made it, right? He played for the Jets for a little bit. David Palmer, he's from Temple. Um, he played for the Chiefs, I believe. Toby Wright. I think Palmer played for the Chiefs. But there you go, you received autographs. Congratulations. Joe Panos, Vaughn Bryant. A lot of autographs there. Oh, wait, I'm not done. What are these? Hockey. Sean Haggerty and David Sacco. Numbered 92 of 1975. All right. Never heard of them. And these are hockey cards, but they're not autographed. Just hockey card. Dave Andrewchuk. Brian Trottier. Bob Carpenter. Gil Perron. And, don't know. and what else do we have here? More autographs. Perry Klein. Dwayne Washington. Steve, nope. Jamar Miller. Jammer, Jameer Miller, Jameer Miller, two Jameer Millers, Corey Luce, Luce, I don't know. A lot of autographs, a lot of people don't recognize. And what is this from Fleer? It's like a promo sheet of X Men cards. Yeah. 8 by 10. Okay, now to finish off this. Grant Jackson. Oh, here's one. Tribe Hill Trio. Why? Who are these men? Barry Laitman, Dick Stigman, and Jim Perry. So, Gaylord's brother, Jim. Oh, here's an oldie. Ken Harrison, the Hawk. Rogers Hornsby and Ty Cobb. That's a very off cut. Larry Haney, Yankees, Brian Doyle, I guess would be the name on there, Chris Canizero, Tom Buzki, these 75s, they're all beat up, not even worth really looking at or worth much of anything. Here's a Dennis Eckersley with a huge key Reese in it. Huge crease right down the middle of the card. Right. Try to get it so you can, right there. It is. You can see it right there. Zip. Dale Murphy, All Star. Ted Williams, all burgered up. 1980 Twins. Gary Ward, I guess. Here's an oldie one. Ray Duran. Nice from '63. Last year, 62, so it must be 63 tops. Very off-cut. Um, 83, Dale Murphy. A lot of these cards are 
really boogered up. But I guess that's a chance to take when you and Barry Sanders and there should be in the football stock. So what did we get out of it? We got a couple of unopened hockey. Um, a couple of relic cards. Some Japanese basketball, I would assume. Along with the Michael Jordan there. Some football, nice football. Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders, Montana, Montana, Sanders. That whatever that is, that refractor, refractor, and a couple of racing cards. Basically, that's that with a bunch of autographs tossed on top. And now the almost the last box. Let's go to this one here. And a 64, 63, 62, yep. I heard of Booty. He was at one of the packs my daughter opened, and she loved it. <laughs> so here's some uh, upper deck, 89 upper decks. Rest assured, it's not a complete set. It's a hodgepodge, all different numbers, high and low. You're not going to find the number one card in here. You're not going to find the Griffey Jr. Or, yeah, you're not going to find Junior's card in here. So. Um, you know, just bundled it, bundled it up. What he had on the table, I took the top flies and took, took it and said, how much for all this? And then we haggled from there. All right, here's a box that has... <clears throat> it says money cards on it. I don't know. So I looked in here and I saw this one. I'm like, okay, it's a Gretzky. It's a die cut. It's SP and it's a promo card. So I'm like, yep, yeah, that can go in the promo binder. So that that's the, like the only card I looked at in here. And I'm like, I'll take it. But here's a Cal Ripken. Ooh, Derek Jeter. Nice. Here's a whole stack for a buck. Football cards. Emmett right there on top. How about OPG Nicholas Lindstrom? Another Andy Pettit. Didn't we come across a couple of them before? Andy Pettit. Tom Barrasso. I think we came across that card before. Hey, a Tom Brady card. Not his rookie, I bet. It's a checklist card. Manny Ramirez. That goes under baseball. That goes under football. What's this? First day, opening day, whatever. First day, Roger Clemens from Top Stadium Club. Very nice. Um, Marshall Falk. Filippo. Marshall Falk. Football. How about... Nice Barry Sanders. Here's a hockey of Mario Lemieux. Nice. Jerry Rice. That goes under football. Here's the Drake's Cupcakes. Ooh, Rod Carew. Nice. And, of course, there's a Jeff Gordon. Tracing. Hockey prospect of who? Nicholas Lindstrom. A... Jeff Gordon. So apparently this guy like Jeff Gordon. Here's a Brett Favre. It's three bucks back in the day, I guess. Rob Brindamore, OPG. Uh, Gary Sheffield, 89 upper deck. Rookie card. Johnny Damon. There's a very young Yamar Jaeger. Two of them. Another Johnny Damon. Here's a Dominators, Ken Griffey Jr. Apparently they wanted to, went from seven dollars, seven fifty down to three bucks at one point. 
OPT, Frank Thomas from when 1991. Ice Gallery, okay. Um, Timu Salani, he's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? How about a Wayne Gretzky? A buck for that one. It's a steal to get a Gretzky card for a buck, wouldn't it? Mike Piazza, star rookie. Mike Piazza, rookie card, right? Yep. We got one of your stats. Deion Sanders. That's the SP3. Another Piazza. Cal Ripken. Oh, there's a penny sleeve. Cal Ripken, penny sleeve. Um, Richard Childress, whatever that's. Jeff Gordon's car. Jeff Gordon. Another Piazza. Um, Ultra 94. David Cohn. Tops update from 87. Joe Carter. Another heading for the hole. It's a Cal Ripken. Here's an electric diamond. Jerry Rice. Cowboys. Emmett Smith. Jerry Rice. Select. Here's a Yamar Jaeger. Here's a Kirby Puckett, the Upper Deck Loose Collection. There we go. Oh, I see another sample card here. Who's this? It's a Alex Rodriguez promotional sample. $20 card from Fleer. Nice. I'll go in the promo pile. Another penny sleeve. Who's this? Number of 15,000, Jamal Mashburn, Isaiah Ryder, and Colbert Cheney, basketball card from Skybox. Now it's got on the front, Chris Weber, Sean Bradley, and Afni Hardaway. $30 card at one time. Holy moly. I don't think I paid 30 bucks for that one, but what am I going to do? Some loose penny sleeves. I see a chipper card in here. This is another uh, front row, baseball. How about a chipper card coming up? Let's see what they were asking for this back in the day. But first, let's do Pride of the Program. Andrew Pruma. Kobe Bryant. What? Kobe Bryant. So how, what, what year is this for Kobe? 1996 to present. Lamar Odom, 99 to present. And 2005 to present. Okay. Well, whatever. Must have been like their top draft picks at one point. Here's a chipper on deck with Chipper Jones. Three bucks. Very nice. Baseball. Here's a Nolan Ryan. 5,000 strikeouts for two bucks. Very nice. Check the chat. I'm probably talking too much and slowing it down for me. I'll text. You guys must be way ahead of me in the stream. Uh -huh. Falk rookie, Yager rookie, 94 Falk is 15 bucks. I really love that Dion card. I see something else here. What is this? That's a promo of 1,500. They made 1,500 promo cards? Who is this guy? Damien Rhodes. $10 for this one. Back in whenever. Goes in a promo pile. I said them to identify it as a promo for me. Pavel Burry. So oh, he's a he's a Russian. CCCP. Yep, Soviet Juniors, Red Army, Soviet Juniors, Red Army. Yep, Soviet Juniors. Ruski. What still must have been a heck of a hockey player. How about another Piazza? This is a rookie card too. Yep, that's a second one of those. I think. No, it's not a rookie. But it's the second one we've came across to that one. A Marshall Falk. Uh, it says perfect. Ten plus. Ten dollars plus. I don't know what they mean by perfect. What is that? Rookie card. Just says rookie. But I don't know why it says perfect on it. And we've seen this. Jerome Bettis, I think, before. Got some hockey here. Of the juniors... Alexi Yashin, two of them. 
Juniors Tournament. How about this? Uh, Timu Solani, Parkhurst, Canada. Timu Solani. Oh, what's this? It's in a big screw down. Team Pinnacle, Mike Messina, and Craig Maddox. That's a great card because it's got two Hall of Famers on it. Look at that. Two Hall of Famers for the price of one. Nice. All right. What else we got here? We have an Encore Derek Jeter. Nice. Nice. I like it. It's Jeter. Another Shaquille O'Neal card. 92 draft pick Shaquille O'Neal. Basketball. We didn't get many basketball out of this. 82-83 Edmonton Oilers. Um, team leaders, I guess. Gretzky. Gretzky had 71 goals, 125 assists, power play goals, but so I don't know. I guess who he passed it to. I don't know. Shorthand goals. Oh, shorthand goals. Okay, got it. Six. Game winning goals, nine. There's another Johnny Damon. Who's this? Mario Lemieux. East. Stars, all stars in the east. Who's this? A racing car one. Camping World Truck Series. Die cut of Timothy Peters. Okay. Racing. And what is this? An elite. Oh, wait. There's two cards here. So this is Dunruss Elite Brett Hall. 2,926 of 10,000. Nice. And here's a Drew Bledsoe. If he wouldn't have gotten hurt, New England's future would have been different. Not all those championships. Clubhouse series from front row. Looks like it's already been opened up, but it's got Junior right there. Goes under baseball. Hockey prospects again for... Pavel Burry, uh, Raphael Palmero, one of the top's big cards. There's a passing leaders, Ken O'Brien, and then Hall of Famer Joe Montana. No comparison there. Oh, look at Dolphins, Dan Marino. Upper deck, die cut, and they put the sticker on the penny sleeve so it hangs up. There it is. Nice Dan Marino. Look at that career. And no Super Bowl. And here's a pack of hoops. We're not going to go through that. Let's take away the basketball. Here's a Dion Sanders rookie card. Football rookie. Got his old sweatband on. Nope, it's a baseball. Albany, Columbus, and the Yankees. It's a Yankee one, or it's a baseball card. I take that back. How about a Wayne Gretzky time all-time goal scorer? Upper deck. Two thousand three hundred and twenty-eight goals to that point. Uh, Manny Ramirez rookie card. Anquan Bolton, receiver. Um, this is a Joe Maurer. He looks really young. Might be a rookie card of Joe Maurer. Looks real young. Yeah, it's his rookie card. At bats, games 32. At bats, 110. Everything matches up across, so that'd be a rookie card of his. How about a Brett Hall, Tops Stadium Club, very nice, shiny, chrome card, 3 of 12. Very nice. Uh, Mario Lemieux, a um, Nomar Garcia Parra, Nicholas Lindstrom again. Ooh, look at this. Uh, so acetate or whatever you want to call it, it's a um, see-through card of Emmett Smith. Boss 13, the Boss Squad. It's got 
some information on the back. How about a Fleer Johnny Bench from 83 Fleer? Oh, wait, goes football. And a Sport Flix, Cal Ripken Jr. Got a little bit left. And that will, I think, do it. I oh, know we got that one box to go through. We still have another box to go through. Tom Seaver. So, guys, I spent 100 bucks today total. Here's basketball for our limited editions. Baseball, hockey, football. Wait. That's right. Hockey goes there. Basketball's there. Um, front row, baseball, Ray Dandridge. Okay. That's a nice uh, refractor type Bledsoe. New England Patriots, rookie exchange. So Bledsoe, rookie card. Uh, racing, Jeff Gordon, racing. Here's a second Dion. Here's a die cut, hollow view of... Joe Jobin, no John Th Theory. I don't know football. Here's a Ken Griffey Jr. Score select, very nice. And Emmett Smith Pro Set. So that's that box. Just gonna drop them back in here and hope for the best. So that's that. Uh, get to the comments again real quick. And then we got like this one box left, I believe. We went through this one already. That was just the upper deck, yeah. Goodness, guys. This has actually turned out to be quite a bit. All right, so we got this last box to go through. And we've got some hockey for your hockey fans out there. Where are you from, Tex? Nebraska. See them club. You can find boxes for 10 bucks. Ray Bork. James Lofton. Sometimes you find these cards with blank backs. I found them with no uh, nothing on the back. Terry Francona. Here's a Brett Favre. Nice upper deck. Steve Sachs. Mike Marshall. Here's a John Elway. Nicholas Lindstrom. A top loader, a penny sleeve, stadium club, Barry Bonds. Here's a silver signature, Bobby Labonte. Here's a Maurice Vaughn rookie card. Reggie White, nice, two bucks for Reggie White. Here's a Nolan Ryan highlights, 1989 highlights. You gotta check, I think there's an error card involving that particular card. Patrick Waugh. Here's a die cut of Jerry Rice. Upper deck die cut. Sweet looking card. Oh, look. It's my nemesis, Pedro. I think it was seven bucks. Mark down the two bucks. Pedro Martinez. And here's a... It's opened up, but I'm not going to dig into it. Oh, wait. There's other cards in here. Why is there a Dunruss... Poster piece in here. Carl Yastrzemski. Not supposed to be in there. All right. There might be a Jeter in these. Who knows? Now nah, it's 91. Eh. Who knows? Baseball. Pepper Johnson. Gilmore. Center all-star card. And Gretzky. Is that a two cards in one or one card in two pitchers on? One card, two pitchers. Well, I like the Gretzky one. Six bucks. There goes hockey. Ron Francis. Ricky Jackson. Um, Peter Forsberg. Still has the film on the front, which is nice. Preserving the card, baby. Here's a... Joe Montana, Edge FX. So that was collector's Edge cards. Here's a Mario Lemieux. Hockey. And racing Terry Labonte. 
Even got a little spot on the back for some autographs. I don't know what all's in these boxes, guys. I didn't even look in here. I just slid it up there and said, roll that into it. So here's a action-packed Willie Mays. Here's a big stack of probably football. I see a football card on the top. Oh. One and two mixers. I don't know what that means. Guess it's all mixed up. Jeremy Roenick on the back. So we got football. That's a refractor. Nice rookie card. Barry Sanders. Emmett Smith, though. So two nice football cards there. Wendell Bryant. Don't know. Kurt Kittner, don't know here's hockey. That looks like uh, Yamar Jaeger or Lemieux. Yamar Jaeger. Oh, there's a comic book. Maximum Carnage Spider Man Universe. Marvel Universe 1994. Okay. That's got a lot of gold foil. Racing, basketball, Dandridge, Maravich, um, Bird, Willis Reed. Very nice. A lot of nice um, old basketball players. No, Bird's not that old yet. Here's a Steve Young assets. Jamal Anderson. Mark Brunel. Jerry Rice. The Damian Tomlinson. Khalees Campbell. I'm not going to go through all these guys. There's hockey. Sergei Fedorov. Hockey. I haven't seen his name until just now. Marvin Jones. Ooh. Bowman. Gold Border. Ronnie Lott. Nice. Playoffs. Drew Bledsoe. Thurman Thomas. Guess you heat up that corner. And it says... 10th... Fantasy 10th forecast. I don't know. 10th anniversary card? I don't know. Jerome Bettis. Barry Sanders. Same thing. Thurman, Munz, or Thurman Thomas. Nice one. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Steve Young. Troy Aikman. Here's some mini cards of Bobby Bonilla. Stickers. Andres Galarraga. Sticker of Cal Ripken Jr. More stickers with bonds on. Carlton Fisk on the back. Stickers with oh, Pete. Oh, these are all peachy stickers at that. Tom Browning. How about a Reggie White? Reggie White. Emmett Smith times two. Owen Nolan. Here's some shiny um, football. Um, Scott Rowland, Kerry Wood, Kenji Jojima, okay, oops, I'll put the baseball with the hockey, uh, Bledsoe, rookie card, printer's proof preview, um, Joe Smith, so, printer's proof preview. Nice. Goes in the promo cards, I guess. Bernie Williams. Here's a nice shiny gallery of Lance Berkman. Very nice. Thick, too. Martin Nance rookie card. David McCarthy. Andrew Jones. Dick Perez kind of thing. Alan Ginter. Seneca Wallace. Never heard of him. Junior Seau. Tim Edmonds. Here's a gold. Charlie Slynn. Thibault. Never heard of him. Matt Jones. There's a young looking Gary Sheffield. Steve Avery. 82 Dunruss. Reardon. Jeff Ware. Abbott. Draft pick. 
Phenom, Salmon Torres, Ronick. There's a Stars of Tomorrow, Mike Piazza. Sorry about the shaking. Eric Lindros, our first Lindros card, second Lindros card, third Lindros card, fourth Lindros card, five Lindros, and we keep going, six Lindros, seven Lindros, and who is Eric Lindros? He is out jet skiing, or skiing behind his boat. Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros, Eric Lindros. Eric Lindros. We need a Lindros baseball card, don't we? Him, him batting for the... Uh, there's Lindros there, right? Or his brother. Didn't he have a brother that played too? But that's Eric. Him batting in the um, Blue Jays uniform, right? Might be here. There's a string of Eric Lindros cards right now. Rookie card. National team. Canadian national team. Oh, Barry Foster, switching gears. Barry Foster, Barry Foster, that's it. Charles Barkley, Derek Coleman, Billy Owens. There's a Magic Johnson, Stadium Club. Nice card. Jim Jackson, Drew Bledsoe, 93 rookie from Score. And look, Craig Jeffries is way out of registration, the print there. How about a... Jeremy Roenick. Yeah, that must be a set. Get card two and three. And that takes care of that thing there. We got another one right here. Which has off center Bobby Ojeda. Robert Smith and Sugar Ray Leonard. We're not going to go through this. We're just going to skim through these Olympic cards. Yeah. So a bunch of Olympic cards. Yep, not going to mess around with them. I can look at them later. NBD, no big deal. There we go. What else do we have in here? A lot of cards. A turkey red Ryan Howard. More hockey. Rob Ramage. Mike Bossy. Bob Bourne. Rich Suter. Marcel Dion again. Grant Fuhrer. Chris Chelios. Glenn Resch. Brian Suter. Matt Lind uh, Naz Naslund. Uh, Murray, Roberto Romano. A lot of hockey here. Mark Howell. Team leaders. Peter McNabb. Perry Peterson. Let's see. Daryl Sittler. Checklist. And stickers. Okay. And Suter. You hockey guys can kind of look at these because I'm not going to read off each name. You guys know who they are. I don't know. Let's get into some baseball here. Who's this? Craig Nettles. Willie Randolph. Oh, look. Pro Bowl of LT. Lawrence Taylor. Jack Lambert. Um, Mark Duper, Super Duper. These are from 84 Tops. These are even older. Otis Armstrong from 78. 78 Tops. Weber, Elsie Greenwood, Bob Greasy, Ed Too Tall Jones, Fran Tarkington, Faya Sikahima. He's a, a newscaster now in Philadelphia. 
These are from 87 tops. Tony Dorsett. Lester Hayes, 1,000 yard club. Stanley Morgan. Here's Marcus Allen, not his rookie card though. Mark Bavaro, 1,000 yard. Joe Morris, another Marcus Allen. Walter Payton card, barrels forward. 1,000 yards. Gerald Riggs. Oh, look. Record breaker, Dan Marino, Miami Dolphins. Most consecutive seasons, 30 or more touchdown passes. Congratulations, Dan. Chris Collinsworth, he's a football announcer now, right? Steve Largent, hold, used to hold the record, I think, for receptions or reception yards. Most consecutive games, one or more receptions, really, one or more. Okay, but he also hold the all-time. Phil Sims, Walter Payton, 1,000-yard rushing card. Nice. And it breaks it down. Well, the Bengals held them to 51 yards. The Packers held them to 57. Actually, it was one, two, three, four, one. The Vikings held them to 28. Wow. 12 times he was under 100 yards. He only broke 100 yards four times. And he still got 1,300 and some odd yards. Mark Bavaro, all pro card, another largent. Gary Anderson, Gary Anderson. Here's some stickers. Oh, God, there's Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow Jr. is in jail, right? Dan Fouts. Cliff Branch. Wilbur Montgomery. I'm checking the backs of these because I've come across these cards. I had the blank backs. Joe Gibbs. Dan Deerdorf. A lot of stickers in here, though. That's good. Dwight Clark. Freeman McNeil, all center. Hey, John Riggins. The Diesel. Wesley Walker. Terry Bradshaw. Joe Theismann. Ouch. I remember that broken leg. And um, Steve Smith's broken leg was such a reminder of it. Both playing for the Redskins. Chris Chambliss. Ron Gant. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to find the uh, reverse negative of Dale Murphy in here? That would be so cool. Phil Niven, Dick McCarthy, Joe Carter, Pat Mahomes. That's Pat Mahomes' dad. Reggie Sanders, David Need, Warren Moon, Terrell Buckley, Ricky Waters, Barry Foster. Who's this guy? I don't know. Michael Irvin, one of the biggest dopers in the NFL. And um, basically got away with it. Who's this? Fernando. Oh, my goodness. There's so much. I, I still think overall, I think I got my money's worth. I did spend $100. I didn't walk away with 15 or 20 boxes of cards like I normally do. There's a Charles Barkley. Um, dunk rank number six. So that's from Slam Dunk Contest. Harry Johnson, some more. Patrick Polin. Sean Rooks. Hold on. Did I put hockey in the right place? Yes, I did. I put these in the wrong place. Okay. Hey, Randy Johnson. Fleer Flare. Nice. Oh, basketball. Shaquille O'Neal. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to save you, Shaq, from any damage. There's Shaq's in a penny sleeve. Jeff Gordon's. Davy Allison. Uh, Anquan Bolton. Oh, another Shaq. Got to put you in a penny sleeve, Shaq. Save you from getting wrecked. Another Shaq. Maybe we'll have a run of Shaq cards. Nope. All right. Joe Montana, Kansas City. Dan Marino. Nice. Oh, Electric Diamond. These weren't Electric Diamond. Electric, um, electric it says. Barry Sanders. Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice, Steve Young, 
And what is this? Tony Kukuch tops stadium club basketball. Dynamic duos. Never heard of them. Sorry. Uh, Preacher Row. You know what, Preacher? You're a um, gold bordered card. You're 1952 World Series. We're going to put you in a penny sleeve. Los Angeles Rams super team card. So this is probably one of the ones you're supposed to mail in and get a complete set of LA Rams cards, but it wasn't done. Mount Marvels, Barry Zito. Another Spider-Man card. Um, nope. Benji Gill, nope. Here's a die cut. Aaron Boone, look at that. Minor League, 1995. Top prospects for promotional use only. This is not a signature card. Yeah, I don't see a signature on it. But it's a promo, so guess what? It goes in the promo stack. Why not? Let's put it there. Promo stack. Jason Schmidt. Jeff Gordon again. A Stargate card. Stargate card. Tim Wakefield. Oh, a promo card. Ken Griffey Jr. I'll take it. Another one. Wow. How about... Bernie Williams. Nice looking card. And who's this? Why, it's Jim Kelly. Very nice. Keep on going. Ben Sheets. Somebody Roman. Ramon Ortiz. Okay. You have Upper Deck Promo. Play ball. Willie Stretch McCovey. Another promo card. Nice. I had a lot of promo cards. Going to fill up my book. Damian Tomlinson. Oh, that's a nice Willie Mays. $5 card. Never saw that before. And it's got the seal. I wonder what that means. Top gallery bucks. Five bucks. I don't know what that's from. But cool. Five value. You know Put you in a top or a penny sleeve just because. Who's this? Shaquille O'Neal. Mario Lemieux, hockey. Timo Solani, Mario Lemieux. Who's this guy? Peter Forsberg. Okay. Mario Lemieux. That looks like a different color. Not gold. It's like bronze. C.V. Eiserman. There's a Brett Favre Stadium Club. How about a Big Mac and a Matt Noakes? Griffey and Van Slyke. Yogi. George Brett. Cat Ripken. Deion Sanders rookie card from Score. Ken Griffey Jr. Jerry Rice. Here's another one of those acetate cards. Dan Wilkerson. Emmett Smith. Here's some stickers. Dan Marino sticker. Tim Brown and Michael Westbrook. Yep, stickers. Joe Montana. Crash the game. This might be one of those mail-in ones, right? Yeah. Why is it upside down? Look, it's printed upside down. That's weird. Have to see if we come across any more. Dan Marino. Emmett Smith. Joe Montana. Emmett Smith. Troy Aikman. Joe Montana. Nice. Marino. Paul O'Neill as a kid. Here's a Denny's hologram of Orlando Merced. Here is a, I don't know what this is. What's this? Fan favorite, um, Harold Baines. How about a hockey Redick Bonk? Never heard of him. Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux. Uh, Joe Juno. Here's a hologram of Joe Juno. Jeremy Runick, Tyrone Wheatley, Joe Juno, T. 
Matthew Mussolini, Pavel Burry, Matt Sundin, Mario Lemieux, Chris Pronger, Mario Lemieux, Andre Gagel, Joyce Lynn Thalbot, Eric Lindros again, Mary Barron, don't know, Kevin Hatcher, Andre Gagel, 94 Gold Leaf rookie, Pat Peak, PK, Peak. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're about halfway done with this box, guys. Woo! Starting to sweat up a storm here. Owen Nolan, Joe Juno, Andre Diego, Diego, Diego. Here's the Ice Kings, Felix Potvin. Very nice. Hey, we're back in baseball, Ivan Rodriguez, and we're out just like that. Oops, dropped for Alex Ochoa, racing. Eric Lindros, again. Thurman Thomas, another Michael Jordan card. Came across a couple of them now. Not kind of the ones in those packs. Another Michael Jordan. Deion Sanders. Jeremy Roenick. Pavel Burry, Pavel Burry. Mike Richter. Here's some stickers. With Paul Molitor. Molitor. Edgar Renteria. Matt Sundin. Shane Mack. Andre Risen. 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 Warren Moon. David Need. Tyler Green. Frankie Rodriguez. Who's this guy? Four Sport. Roman Hammerlick. Harold Miner. Tim Salmon. Rookie Prospects. Ryan Sittler. There's a Leaf Gold Leaf. Um, David Justice. Cliff Floyd. Cliff Floyd. Tim Salmon. Bowman. There's a Roger Clemens, Reggie Jackson like collection. Our picks. Jorge Posada, Major League debut. Don Mattingly, the new M&M brothers. Mattingly and Moss, that didn't last long, but there's the old M&M brothers. That's no comparison to the new M&M brothers. Ricky Henderson, Mark McGuire, George Brett, Roger Clemens, Mike Schmidt, Schmidt All-Star, Pete Rose, and Searhoff and Jackson. No. Some Coca Cola cards. Okay. Milestones, Eddie Murphy. Uh, Murray, not Murphy. Murphy's the actor. How about a Wayne Gretzky? Nice. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Mario Lemieux. Die Cut Adam Oates. Andre Diego. Timo Solani. Brett Hall. Cal Ripken Jr., uh, someone from Arkansas, Darren McFadden. There's a nice Dan Marino sticker. Dan Marino, Emmett Smith, Natron Means, Heath Schuler. What's he doing in there? Eric Rett, Eric Rett, Eric Rett, Heath Schuler again. How about a nice dream team? Thurman Thomas, Marino. Here's a Howie Long, one of those edge cards again. They're plastic. Ronnie Lott. Nice Felix Schmidt, yes. I'd rather spend the 60 on the other cards. There's an awesome patch card of him. And, and looking at the guy agreed to sell it for 60 bucks. I don't know. Top Scally, Stargate cards. Yeah, I don't know. Stargate cards. 86 is the rookie, but those 87s, if there was a Rice, it was worth some bucks, too. Yeah. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Here's a Garrison Hurst, some kind of hologram or shiny, whatever, upper deck. Rookie Exchange. Um, Curtis Conway, rookie exchange card. Garrison Hurst from Upper Deck. Another Natron Means. Here's a Heath Schuler 
acetate. Uh, Marco Irvin, there's a nice Griffey Jr. from Stadium Club. There's an electric diamond. Um, Juan Gonzalez, there's a nice Ripken Stadium Club. George Brett Jr. Benito Santiago, gold border. 52 years of collecting. And it's numbered 5, 000, or no, 573 of 2003. Got it. Here's a Griffey Jr. promo. So I'm going to say this is a promo. It is a promo. Nice. None of these other ones are promos, right? No. I don't think about it. You check the backs of all these cards. There's so many promo cards in here. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Um... Sandberg, good at Kurt Schillings. Here's a press proof of first 2000 printed. Tom Pagnazzi. Oh, look at that nice junior card there. Ooh, nice. Number 940 of 2000. So it's a numbered card. Cal Ripken. Nice Nolan Ryan. Ken Griffey Jr., nice. Deion Sanders, Michael Tucker, and Curtis Goodwin. Okay. And finally come to the end of this row. Oh, look at this. We got a hollow FX of um, Jeff Kent, Jerry Rice, Marshall Falk, Steve Young, and Marino, Pro line of someone. Deion Sanders. Get out. That's Deion. Yeah, he went to Florida. Nice. Deion Sanders. Nice Marino. Jerry Rice. Steve Young. Young. Sanders. Young. Smith. Favre. I uh, don't know what the deal is with this. Guy Box 75th. Some kind of. Match and win. I guess I have to rub that off. I don't know. It's too late anyway. Jerome Bettis. Richmond Webb. Jerome Brown. Steroids destroy. AIDS kills. Think about it. AIDS kills. Think about it. AIDS kills. Yeah. Yamar Jagger. Who's this? Troy Gloss. Darren Erstad. Oh, nice junior. Promo! Oh, my God! This guy had tons of promos. And the good ones, too. No crap. Carlos Baerga. Look at this. Frank Thomas from Pinnacle. Runs created 149.2. Dutch Dalton. And another Frank Thomas from the OPG 93 OPG set. Ooh, getting down there. All right, we got a bunch of hockey here. Brent Suter. Dennis Savard. Mark Howell. Dennis Savard, Charlie Batch, and we're into some baseball. Whoops, lost the little sticker out of the tops. McKellen, we got some 82 Dunruss going on now. Pops, Willie Stargell. Mickey Hatcher. He hung around a long time for being, I don't know what his job was. How many of those skybox have been scratched that might be worth a few bucks? Mm, don't know. I don't think anything's been scratched off. There's some kind of game piece there for football. J. 
Jeff Bostic, Tony Hill, another game piece. James Lofton, Billy Sims. Some older cards from what is from eighty no seventy eight. Don Nottingham, Dave Dalby, Mark Arneason, Jerome Barkham, Jack Rundy, Rudney, Nay, Mike Pruitt, Lyle Blackwood, Barty Smith, all muddy and that's the Packer way right there. Billy White Shoes Johnson. I don't know if you guys remember him. Billy White Shoes Johnson. Not his rookie card, though. Patrick Wall. Ralph Berner Ralph Bernerska. Mark Clayton, Jim McMahon, John Offerdahl, Gary Hogboom, Hogaboom. I'm going to try his last name. Oh, God, there's a big stack of these. Dan Fouts, though. Stanley Morgan. Gary Anderson. Stanley Morgan again. Jerome Cherry. Was he from... Was he from Palmyra, New Jersey, too? Let's see. Went to Rutgers. Yeah, he lives in Palmyra, New Jersey. I lived there for a couple of years, too. He was born uh, like a half a month after I was born. September 12th, 1959. I was born August 27th, 1959. Who else went there uh, to Palmyra? Was... Um, Help me out. The guy who was a um, Olympic star too, Olympic guy. I believe it was Boomslang went a little quick to see it. Ralph Banerska hosted Wheel of Fortune. Did he? Oh, on what? On those hockey ones? <clears throat> yeah, I called out names that I knew. I knew. I don't know much about hockey guys. Not since the, like this. The guys after like 1970, 71. Like, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on Jack Trudeau. And, but I will check the backs of these as I go through them because let's just go to the back, see if there's any backs missing. No blank backs. Mike Gooman. Mike Gooman was kind of a local guy from my area, too. Bethlehem, PA. I grew up just 15 or 20 minutes north of Bethlehem. Born in Allentown in 1958. He went to Penn State. Then we had... Um, the next town over from me they had triplets that played football, and um, but they never made it past college. There were three brothers. And they were triplets, identical triplets, the Dietzy brothers. 
Joe Delaney, rest in peace. He drowned, I think, while trying to save uh, some kid who was some other kid who was trying to who was drowning. He jumped in to save him and he couldn't swim. So he perished trying to save someone else. Joe Klecko. Brian Bashnagel. Archie Manning. That's the dad of um, Eli and um, Peyton. Let's just check the backs. No blank backs. Billy Sims, all pro. All right, what do we got? Some racing cars. A oh, couple. Hutch Strickland. Racing. Here's football. A lot of football now. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on baseball. Rico Cardi. Johnny Mize. Fern Wall. Bobby Mercer. Maury Wills. Sudden Sam McDowell. Rusty Staub. Bill Mazarowski, Minnie Minosa, Gil McDougal, Virgil Trucks, Wilbur Wood, Boog Pal, Warren Moon, and more football cards. We're going to go skim through these real quick because it's football and it, I've been doing this forever. And we're almost done. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. There are some nice shiny cards in here for sure. They're in good shape. Jim Harbaugh. And here's some more older football. John Matuzak. Golden Richards. Nice. More cards from 78 tops. Then we got some 92 tops football. Got some gold ones here, though. Eric Davis. Eric Allen. And we're going to check these for. Missing backs. That's about it. I don't expect to find them. They've probably been pulled out if they were missing any of the backs. How about some 95 Tops football? Or are they 85s? 86 Tops football. Chris Collinsworth. Randy White. Mike Singletary. Thousand Yard Club, Joe Morse. Ed Too Tall Jones. Steve Grogan. Looks like I'm to turn the whole stack here. All right. Well, we ended up having a ton of football out of this box. And a spider web. But this is the last of it here. Just zip through the backs. See if there's any backs missing. They are not. See who the um, see who the um, Nolan Cromwell. See who the sticker was. Nolan Cromwell. 
Got some hockey here. Roman Hamerlick. Here's uh, Thomas Forslund. Some kind of holographic one. Kevin Stevens. Here's a Marquise Grissom. Andre Ryzen. Can't even pronounce their name, so I'm not going to try. Joe Juno. Pavel Burry. Valeri Burry. I wonder if they're brothers. Must be, right? Yes, he had a, unless he was known by a different name before. You know. Michael Colet, prospect of Tony Almonte, Pat Falloon, Jeremy Roenick, Pat Falloon, Jeremy Roenick. Here's a nice um, Bowman Gold Porter, Theron Fleury, Ole Yazin, there's a nice Brian Jordan. Chan Ho Park, nice. And we have some nice upper decks. Baseball. Greg Swindell. Die cut, Mosi Salu. And we got some more hockey coming. Yari Curry. Glenn Hanlon, whatever. Pat Riggin, Brian Suter, Jim Fox, Terrell Sittler, 82 Dunruss, Art Still, Father Son, Dale Murray, Murphy, I keep, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bud Black. Phil Gardner, Jack Clark, from 83s, Don Sutton, Kind of game piece. Just scored four runs. Nice. Some football. Back to hockey. James Patrick. Brad Park. I remember him. I had cards from him from the early 70s. Like 71, 72, 72, 73, somewhere around there. Timu Solani, Fleer Ultra All-Stars, Joe Juno, Parkhurst, Brian Holtzinger, Alexander Dago, Brian Bradley, Pierre Turgeon, Joe Sackick, I ain't going to pronounce his name, Alexi something, Joe Juno, Joe Juno, Chris Chelios, Manny League, Le Legace Legacy Sergey Yep whatever Sergey Michael whatever Tommy Soderstrom Tommy Soderstrom 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 Who and that is it guys Fox is done Wow my back hurts But that's it guys that is the whole weekend Review took a while. Got a lot of promo cards out of this. That's going to be good. A lot of promos. Lots of promos. So we got a couple of those Jordan cards and um, um, oh, he, and he hurts. Anyway, guys, thanks for oh hanging out with me. You love Sackick. That's cool.
Alex, did you ever get that package I sent you? Yeah, it was crazy. I, I spent all my money, 100 bucks. But then when I got when I got to Ronnie's table, um, I didn't have any money to buy from him, so I had to come home because uh, I forgot my password to my PayPal, and I bought a um, box of 2020 Bowman um, baseball off of him, a um, retail box, 24 packs. I think it was 12 cards per pack. Um, he gave it to me for uh, 190 bucks. He was asking 200. Okay, yeah, I don't know. It might have taken so long. I guess it's just getting across the border. Maybe I don't know. It's just it's just some hockey cards or something like that. I forget exactly what I sent you. Yeah, who's going on next? I took up three hours, guys. That's ridiculous. Sorry about that. I don't want to keep everyone hanging around because I know a lot of other people are going to go on and do the recaps for the weekend too. So we got three minutes to wrap this up and I will see you guys in the next one. You know, I, I got those cards up there, but obviously the, uh, the Jordan cards were um, the Shaq and Jordan cards were the, probably the best finds in the whole deal. I mean, I had a lot of good stuff, so. But hey, let me open my door. Ooh. Guys, don't forget about that Topps Project 2020 cards. If you check eBay, you can get those cards for like 20 bucks now. And if you're going to prospect and flip them, they're going up. You can easily, you know, get four times your amount on cards, if not more. So check it out. $20 investment. I'd flip it right away if I were you. I wouldn't sit on it because, you know, everything fluctuates up and down. Like, they could just drop all of a sudden, too. So, people might start paying attention to the numbers bought, you know. Um, but, overall. Oh, well, let's see. Thank you very much. I'm fine. I'll let you know. I'm sure. All right. That's cool. The Musa... The Musa Smith is between 60 and 100. Get out. Really? That's ridiculous. I, I But I don't follow. I don't follow uh, football at all. So. You no, know, thank you guys for hanging out here. And check the Space Jam Jordan. Some of those are in the hundreds. Really? Well, with the Jordan. Yeah, I figured anything Jordan. Like, I still got these Jordan packs. I didn't even go through. I used to stack them up. I'll go through them on my own later. But I had those. Uh, they were open, but they still had all those Jordan cards in it from the Upper Deck Michael Jordan set, like 100 and some odd cards. I think the highest number I saw was like 103 or 106. So there's over 100 cards in that set. I wouldn't have the set, but I'll have cards. And I wasn't collecting back then, guys. So a lot of these cards, I've never seen, you know, anything 2000s. On up, it's all new to me. So, all right, guys, we got just about 35 seconds, and then we're gonna shut it down. Again, thank you everyone for tuning in, hanging out. Um, continue to grow everyone's channels. Make sure we subscribe to everyone that we can. We want to get these guys, all of our fellow YouTubers. To a minimum of a thousand subscribers would be great. I don't understand how we cannot do that as a community. How it's not happened yet. For every one of these guys. You want to sell. I don't know. You have to just shoot me um, shoot me an email, guys. And we'll just see what what's up. My trout rookie crazy. The USFI. You know it's not a complete set. So it's got all just a, you know, like maybe one guy that has a name you recognize so I'll, i will consider it yeah just shoot me an email um i'll make my email right now how's that so you'll have it
That's my email. Just shoot me emails. And we'll we'll work on whatever we want to work on. That's fine. I I suppose I don't have any I don't have any attachment to it, so it's not like it's a, a big deal. Oh look, you can see my foot in the in the shot. Oh no. How does that happen? How do you get your foot in the shot? Baseball card illustrated 2003 Dunners Fred McGriff. Yeah, so I can't wait to get I ordered that box and he only lives he only does a little bit from me. Have a good night and all and be safe all. Yes. I can't wait to get that box of 2020 Dunross. I want to I want to try to sell some too, but I want to open that one box just for me. If I pull that Dominguez card, it's going on eBay and it's going I'm going to just sell it and try to make some money. I heard a Dominguez autograph card Someone fetched thirteen thousand dollars for it. It's like crazy. Yeah, hobbyist, you too. Hobbyist, did I send you a package? No. Hobbyist, you you collect justice, right? Okay, yeah, that's thanks. Um, truth, okay. So, hobbyist, which ones do you collect? Do you have anyone that you PC? I'm putting some stuff together for some people. All right, I got that written down on the, the justice box that I've been pulling. I got like 800 or 900 justice cards now. Do you see that Dominguez Red is over 70? Oh, my God. I hope I pull one. I'm selling that thing. I'm telling you right now. It's gone. I'll sell that biatch. I have no sentimental value attached to that guy whatsoever. It's not like it's someone that, to me, I like established stars. You know, yeah, it's great. You get them as a rookie, and they you don't know who they are, and you just happen to have it. You know, but right now I have no sentimental attachment to that card. It, it's gone because I there's no way that card's gonna hold seventy thousand dollars. I don't care. I just, no, nah, no, I can see a Mike Schmidt. You're a set collector too. Yeah, I am. Someone asked me about uh, an Opeachy, 87 Opeachy set. If I could put an Opeachy set together for them. I know it was. I have to check that out. Yeah, I, I kind of like putting sets together too. <clears throat> but not so much for me anymore, just for my grandkids now. And hopefully that they'll uh, like cards. I pulled a Mookie Betts Red out of 2019 Tops the other day. Nice. <clears throat> right now, everyone's all about this Dominguez. Like now you, now you can start picking up all those other guys really cheap. Exactly. Next year, that card will be worth, you know, $7. But as long as someone's the card value, like I looked at a box of cards and had some really nice cards in today from the first vendor I went to. If you watch my live stream, uh, the first vendor I went to and the one guy was like, are you filming me? I'm like, no, dude, the camera's pointed at the ground. I even said that in the beginning, like, guys, I'm going to be pointing the camera at the ground. You're going to look at a lot of ground um, because I don't know if any people, you know, be weird or whatnot. And sure enough, the first place I stopped, the guy like wanted to bite my head off because he thought I was recording him. And I'm like, no, I'm pointing at the ground, dude. And then he wanted three hundred fifty dollars for the box. The the other guy that was actually selling the stuff. Well, there's a so and so basketball rookie card in here, or not rookie? It's a, it's an autograph card of so and so. Um, and yeah, he just wanted to bite my head off. So I'm like, yeah, 350 bucks for 600 cards, not worth it to me. But so I took 100 with me. So at flea markets, you got the guys out there that are dealers or breakers or whatnot, and they pay their 30 bucks for the weekend, and they try to sell their stuff to people who don't know. And then you get just the people that I ran into that. 
don't know what they have, don't care what they have, just want to get rid of it. The second guy I went to with all this, these last three big boxes, um, he's like, I'm getting a divorce, dude. I, I, I'm, I want to sell all this shit. I'm getting divorced. I just want to sell it all, get rid of it so the old lady doesn't get any money out of me more than whatever, you know. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. So, um, I didn't even finish the whole thing, the whole flea market. I just got tired. After I found Ronnie, I'm like, I'm going home. I, I'm, I'm worn out. I ran out of money, and I lost my motivation at that point. But anyway, we're six minutes after, guys. Thanks again, everyone. I do want to patented sign off for you guys. So, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give the old thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, and don't forget to click on that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. And with all that being said and done, we're going to catch you later. Mr. Promotional Ken Griffey Jr. That's right. Tons of promos, guys. And we'll catch you later, guys. Peace. It's Boom Flying signing out. Catch you later. So shoot me emails with any of your questions, guys. All right. I didn't check the 34 for the for Schmidt rookie. Okay. Uh, okay. Check the 34 for Schmidt rookie. Okay. Just shoot me emails, you guys, with any of your questions or anything like that. All right. And about the cards, if, you know, if you're interested in whatever, that's fine. It doesn't hurt to ask a question. I do the same thing when I go to flea markets. It doesn't hurt to ask the questions. All right. I'm going to. Sign out, and I'm going to go check other people's streams, guys. Thanks again. Good night. See you in the other streams.